right. Hello and welcome back, everyone. Hello and welcome back. Let's load on in. Let's see where we're at. I'm hoping we didn't get raided. If we did, I'm hoping my stuff was hidden. We're not dead, so that's a great sign. Our, our people are still here. Excellent. Our door is still on the wall. Perfect. We didn't get raided. Excellent. So, I didn't exactly drop everything. I just I hit all the important stuff, and I reduced the number of chests we had lying around, just to make sure we don't get in trouble. Although, I forgot to hide the shaped wood. It's okay. I didn't hide some stuff. It's fine. It's fine. Because that way it makes it look like an active base, and we don't lose the important stuff. Let's go ahead and let's make some more chests here. Let's empty our, our inventory, and let's go ahead and immediately go on a scouting run. We gotta do a scouting mission essentially immediately here today. Because we need to go and find our new base. Where we're gonna go. Uh, we'll hold on to this, drop off that. Actually, yeah, we'll hold on to these. You never know if we need some, some orbs. We'll hold on to those. Is that the... Who knows, we might find someone we want to bring home with us. Why not? There. See, where's the hyena, the hyena leather go? We can go ahead and get that running in here. Where it went? There it is. Burn that. Get that cooking. Just dropping off all this junk. Dropping off all this junk. But how's it going, Dalka? How's it going, Balinar? How are you two doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. We had a great day. Drop all this. We'll hold on to that for healing reasons. Good enough. Bam. Done and done. Yeah, the vote's still active. We're still doing that one. Twas a regular day. Excellent. I hope that means it was at least good. Uh, do we have more meat hidden somewhere? We have all of the alcohol. We're going to have to go do, do a drop-off run and go drop off that alcohol to uh, our neighbors in the north. Oh, there wasn't space in here? Oh, it's because there's probably some uh, rancid meat that appeared. No? Okay. That inventory's full. That inventory's full, really? Okay, well, we'll take this out. We'll cook them. We'll cook them in the meantime. We'll need to drop off all that alcohol. We don't need it. We can do that. Uh, we can bring the ladies with us if we want, but I don't really want to. I'd rather just let them stay here and stay relatively safe compared to running around with us and probably getting in trouble, <laughs> you know? Uh, we've got decent weapons at this point. I put my axe away like a dingus. I don't know where I stuck it, though. Uh, th this stuff is not organized at all, and it won't be until we move. It is for, there's not much need for us to organize this until we move. Ah, there it is. But once we move, then it'll make sense to organize this stuff. And we're going to be dropping a lot of it. We'll go ahead and we'll make a dismantling bench. We're going to dismantle a bunch before we leave. We move out. We probably should do one quick run and check and see if there's anyone we do want to pick up before we leave. If there's anyone in the um, in the cave here that we'd like to go ahead and hire. You know, there might be a blacksmith tier 4 or tier 3 or a, a smelter that we want to grab or someone else. Let's go check the cave first here and then we'll go on our little adventure. Perfect line. Let's see. But of all the... Yeah, we've got like a three-way tie currently for the votes. The vote is neck and neck. If you have yet to vote, please go vote for uh, what game we're going to be playing next. Please do. It is a very close vote right now. We don't particularly care which one it ends up being because the one you like the least was tossed out last time. Well, that works out well. Hey, oh my goodness, we had a tier four fighter. And she's huge compared to this. Look how much taller she is. Oh no, that was just an opportunity. Okay. I whiffed it. Hey, come back here, you. Take the wrong fight. Did you Don't you run from me? Where'd the other one go? That's the one we want to keep. The archer hidden in here. Where? Where'd the, where'd the archer go? Oh, there, there she is. I never wanted to be here. Okay. So we luckily get to play with these, an iron truncheon now, which is very nice. I mean, granted, we can make these on our own now. Before, what was great about it is because we found it before we could actually make them. 
But now we can actually make them. We're we're high enough uh, level we can do it. Oh my good gracious. Look at how hard it's going to knock her out. We will be able to knock her out. It's trying to reset. Oh, she just reset all of that too. Bummer. Back up, back up. Yeah, if we can go and get uh, Deirdre, Deathbringer, she's going to be a top tier fighter for us. We have a tier 4 dancer, which is good to have whenever we're doing sorcery related stuff, but we're going to be going in places where there's corruption. But, we're going to want a tier 4 normal fighter, not a dancer, when we go out and actually are, you know, fighting big things. If we're going to go fight world bosses, or if we do dungeons, or if we're going to have her maybe defend our base while we do raiding, you know, we're going to need someone who's a little bit sturdier than a dancer. God, take you! This will be good. She's not going to be a top tier, of course. There are going to be better options for more, like, you know, better starting stats and better potential growth. But she's going to be great for what we have, at least here, right? Or our options aren't the best in this zone. So this would be a good one to get us started on. Ooh, jeez. God take you! And stamina regen is crazy. Alright. There we go. Five. Grab you and come with me. Alright. Perfect. That's one. We'll see if there's up to up to two more tier fours that we can grab, or tier threes that we want. Alrighty. A great start. That hyena coming after us? Not good. He knows better. That hyena knows better. Okay, so let's get you on this wheel of pain because it still has some gruel in it. It goes for. Oh, wait, did we just warp speed? We <laughs> just warp speed. War speed. Alright, she's done. She's trained. On to the next one. Alright, we can grab up to three more people. Uh, good old warp speed. Gotta love that bug. This It's the one bug I'm actually A-OK -okay with there being in this game forever. It should get fixed at some point for balance reasons on servers, but it's just such a low priority in my mind. It is such a low priority. It just saves players time, but it's not incredibly broken in any way, I don't think. All right, gotta get to the dark part of the cave to get to the light. Who do we have here? We have an armor tier one, we have a dancer tier one. Sorry, we already got a dancer tier one. You're out of here. And I don't want an armor tier one. It's not really all that useful. And you are, I think you're a normal exile. Yeah. What else we got? These guys, I think, appear just regular exiles. Perfect, man, monster. Down you go. Rough wraps and potions. Maybe we'll take the hide, why not? Honestly, we should just be taking hide, shouldn't we? We should be taking hide in general. Oh, hello. Ah, she's an exile. Damn, jeez. Stinks. Take that hide. And then I'll take her hide. Where are you? And with you, I'll take that. And we'll take the Ahihina hide. I don't know where the blacksmith went. He vanished. Get those rough wraps. Perfect. Let's go use some right now. Use the cheap bindings. Oh. Your combat music. Why do I hear combat music? Is he anyone coming after us? Ah, oh, this guy is. This exile here sauce. All this great stuff that we ended up finding. All these good weapons. I'm a little looting. Uh, Tanner tier 1. We don't need Tanner tier 1. What are you? Uh, Tanner tier 2. Better. One off. One off. You're tier 3. You would survive. Tier 3 and I'll keep you. Any less. And you may go. Okay. Someone's coming. What else do we have here? We got more dancers. Dancer tier three. Too bad we already have our dancers. We've already got a dancer tier four and a dancer tier one on hand. We do not need more. At least not yet. I don't see us having a base that's going to require that many. 
Yeah. Always come back and grab them later. Although we will take these. And the hide. Useful. Who are you? XL3? Useful. If we didn't find that tier 4 fighter, I might have actually kept you. What about you? XL tier 2? Big nope. We'll take this, because that's just free iron. And you're a dancer tier 2. Nope, don't need a dancer tier 2. And a Fletcher. We, uh, we don't need a Fletcher. We've already got a... Uh, Fletcher's increased the damage that is done with uh, the bows. Oh my goodness, hello? <laughs> Stunlock over here. I just need to get one attack off. There we go. Uh, we don't need a Fletcher. Ooh. Gemstones, though. We don't need a Fletcher because we already have a, a guy with better skills. The Fletcher only helps with bows. I think. So we're gonna skip that. Not too useful for us. Alright, I think that's it. We just got the one. No one else in here of note for right now. How's it going, Bitbot? How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. How's Conan? Conan's going well. We've shot ourselves up pretty high on the whole levels side, and now we're just gonna go ahead and get ourselves prepped and ready. And go on a massive scouting mission. We need to go on a huge scouting mission. We'll grab all this brimstone while we're here. Maybe we can snag another level here. Yeah, we're going to go on a big scouting mission. We need to go and find out where we want to build our base. But to do that, we need to figure out where all the big clans are and where empty real estate is for us to go ahead and build. Where we are right now is a decent location, but I don't want to build our final base here. It's still too generally trafficked as a, as a zone space and I don't know if we were building right now would work for, for the purge it might be too far away from where a purge spot could zone in so I don't really want to stick with where we are we're gonna need to do another run to the far north as well and finish getting our levels with black ice which you know it might be beneficial to go do that first we do literally have a map room in front of this cave. So, we we could literally just go do that and start from the north and then circle around and just go backwards. That would be an option. But there are places in the jungle I want to check. Kind of puts us on the far end for that. I don't know. Oh, there he is. There's his body. And I will take the gruel. That's... Useful. Use it. Nothing else? Nope. Alright, last bit in the cave here, and we're out of here. I don't know if we're actually going to get a level out of this. It's going to be real close. Might just barely be enough brimstone in here for us to level. Oh, no, I don't think there is. I think this is the last node. Yep, not enough brimstone. Not quite. Not quite enough. But yeah, there's that map room literally right here. <laughs> so, we can just hop up and out. It's straight up to the far north. Go grab what we need. Go from there. But it's funny when these hyenas have more health than those exiles do in that cave. Yeah, let's at least make sure that we've got all of our pelts being worked on. We don't have to worry about tar. We're going to need a lot of tar. Like a lot, a lot of tar. Uh, we're not doing anything with human flesh, though, and I don't need the feral flesh. The feral flesh. Perfect. Brimstone we can hold on to. Okay. We've got plenty of bark. We've got enough bark for an age. Alright, let's go ahead and start producing more tar. Get that underway. This one's empty, so we can go ahead and drop this off in here. Go ahead and drop you off in here. Get that cooked on. Uh, let's see. Other stuff we just want to drop off inventory wise. So we'll drop off you. Um, let's drop off the meat. Red meat we'll put on her. Good enough. Right here. You can have some dried meat just in case we need some more food. Um, we will take. This with us. We need some some spiced foods, don't we? Or else it's gonna be too cold. 
Oh, here we go. Spiced exotic. Or exquisite, rather. Good. We'll do stuff with the pork soon. Here we go. And haunch. Got plenty of spiced foods now to keep us warm. Uh, is there anything else we need? Bring with us, I think. I think that's kind of it. For us going on this run, I don't think there's really anything else we need. Uh, we could get our water skin if we still have it somewhere around here. There's one. Oh, there's some spiced pork. We'll take that too. Water skin is full. Perfect. All right. And we'll go ahead and we'll just dump this grill in here. And how are you doing? What are you eating? He's good. Perfect. All righty. We're out of here. Right, let's go to the far north. Let's do this thing. We'll jump to the far north. We'll go ahead and get our final levels here. Get ourselves all the way up to level 60. And then we'll go and do a final run. I don't see any other tier 3 buildings, and I don't see avatar attacks active, so that's good. Good sign. Means that maybe they're taking a break during the weekdays. All right. Oh, I didn't think about the whole corruption thing. Yeah, because we don't have a dancer with us. Well, let's also go ahead and stick that on the hot bar. Just make our life easier. All right, Black Ice is our target. Black Ice it is. Level gain. All right, level 50. Ten more levels. Ten more levels and we're good to go. Um, oh yes, final point in Vitality as well. I oh, will do Glutton for Punishment, which is a really good one. It has been nerfed, but it's still good. It's still absolutely worth taking. The Glutton for Punishment. Before we go in there, let's make sure we're fully hydrated. That cools us down, hydrating. We're going to be in a very cold place. Last thing we want to do is have to cool down or die of thirst. <laughs> Sounds like a really bad option. All those. I imagine we're not going to be able to sneak around him, but we'll try. Oh, we can. Nice. Hey, there it is. Now we're talking. Alright, so there should be enough ice here for us to level. If we have to go deeper into the caves, we can. There would be enough in there uh, if we go into the caves. But hopefully we can just grab what's here and call it done. Very cold. Heat up. Oh, interesting. Glutton for Punishment fires off from cold damage. Wow. I wonder how good that is. I imagine it's not that good. Like a small point here or there. Because it gives you, what is it, like 30% of damage taken back? Something like. <laughs> We're at level 53. Actually, we're not nearly as far as I thought we were going to be. Oh my goodness, we've looted so much garbage. The big bag. Hey, maybe there isn't enough ice here. I thought there might be. Uh, there, there probably isn't. We'll probably get to 55 out of this. And then we'll have to go deeper in to get ourselves the final five levels. I'm assuming we'll have another fine, uh, another level here, at most. Goodness. Please turn towards the things I want to hit. Interesting how the new combat system, like targeting system, actually affects mining as well. Um, yeah, there looks like there's enough for one more level. Grab this level. We'll go loot what's in those boxes. Come on, that's a that's a piece of oh okay, a piece of crumbled ice, not an actual piece of active ice. All right, that was literally exactly enough. We get us to fifty-five. Wow, perfect. We'll take it. 
warm back up. We'll get our health back up as well. Yes, if it's here. All right, what we got? Uh, we got a weapon. We got arrows. We got human blood sausages. Some numbing wraps and the like. We'll take that. More arrows, more numbing wraps. Sure, we'll take that. What's this? Is that a repair kit? Yeah, repairs. Why are we so cold? Hmm. Wouldn't be that cold. We should be able to run in here with this armor. This armor is starting to give out, though. Hmm. Alright. We need we must go deeper. Alright, we're back to extreme cold again. Why is it so cold in here? It wasn't that big of a problem before when we were running around here. Hello, why are you here? Yeah, we're still warming up too. We have frostbite here. Well, that's very bad. We gotta go. We're gonna end up dying of cold damage if we if we, leave, if we stay here. We gotta go. We're back to extreme cold. It's down to normal, very cold, please. We need a torch. I think is what we need. We're back to very cold. All right, we're gonna have to go grab a torch. I don't know why it's so cold down here. Did we change some of our armor between last time we were here and now? I can't recall. It's the only thing I can think it would be. I'm not sure what else would cause us to have that problem. That's fine. We can just go down south a little bit. We'll grab some fiber and some branches and we'll be a-okay. We'll be fine. We could also just teleport back if we wanted to, and teleport back again. But I'd rather not build up the corruption if we can help it. Just go grab it the old-fashioned way. This also gives us the opportunity to see if there's any star metal around here. The Black Ice Pick that we have can mine star metal. So if we do find star metal, we could just go and make some explosives, come back and mine that, just so we have it on hand for later. Because we're going to need it for star metal tools eventually. This does give us the opportunity to search. Go over here. It's the closest place we can go. Alright, man, we heal quite fast, actually. And spiced food heals quite a lot. And no star metal over here. Bummer. But understandable. Berries, all right. Uh, hatchets. Need branches. Okay, right. head back. With our torch. I can go ahead and get a torch here and get the same knife. All right, perfect. All right, we got a relic hunter torch online. We are good to go. I didn't see any star metal in this area. Which is the easiest to spot zones. There's, you know, we can always go up above on the ridges and the like and check around there too. But at least right here, there is none. Yeah, this torch will give us enough heat that we should be okay now. I'm just... I don't know why it's now so much colder over there. It's gotta be a piece of armor we changed. So I think this is black ice. No, this is normal ice. It's shaded. This is black ice. No, it's normal ice. This is black ice? Nope, normal ice as well. Ah, just ice, nothing else. Got some shadows at a distance. Hmm. Anyway, got five extra points. Um, I think we'll put them in strength so we hit harder. More grit's nice, but we don't really need a lot more. Let's see, because we can get 15 more... Uh, we can get 10 more points. 5 more points, rather. So we can get up to 15. So we can go up to defensive posturing, which reduces damage incoming when we're attacking the light, or we can get Berserker for extra health and armor. Or uh, more armor after we take a certain amount of damage, which I think is probably the better bet. We'll do that. And it lets us hit things significantly harder. So uh, We'll go with 
combo master for more damage. That'll be good. Alright. Get in here. We got extreme cold, and we're not warming up yet. We warm up enough that we don't take damage? No? Even with the torch? Get those real quick here. Wow, even with the torch, we're still extremely cold. Really? What to do? I don't know what our plan's gonna be here. Um, now let's back off, let's heal up, and then let's come back in, but that's problematic. And we're just extremely cold the whole time. How's it going, Fuzzy Wuzzy? How you doing today? Hey, how's it going, Gilded Hollow? Hello, hello. It's nighttime now. Still coming after us. We just need to get in there to get the last bit of uh, ice. And we're done. Vanished. Nice. We'll just bandage ourselves up with the weak tier bandages. Are you stopping calibrating and listening? Uh, no, no, we were just kind of stopping and then seeing when the uh, the top left said if we were still cold or not. What we were looking for. And it just kept saying we were cold. I don't know. We're going to have to go get this sorted. Hmm... Just so chilly in here. All right, I guess that just means we're gonna have to run in, do this actively running around, and then run out and heal up again. We won't be able to casually sit there and mine. We're just gonna have to be active running around because we just can't deal with the cold for some reason. Back to extreme cold again. I mean, thankfully we're here dealing with extreme cold with this much health. As long as we don't get frostbite, it's not going to do too much damage to us too fast. Oh, jeez. Uh, if he hits us, we'll take some frostbite. <laughs> As he hides within the walls. Anything else for us to mine here? No, that's it. Alright, so that's done. If we go deeper in, is it going to warm up for us a bit, or no? Off of the potion here. Man, it's so cold. We'll use these potions if we have to. Okay, now it's only very cold. Alright, we've warmed up. A little warmer inside the dungeon, okay. Perfect. Works for me. So we passively heal back up, be able to get some more levels off of these. Then we'll go back to that big zone, a whole bunch of ice, and we'll be good to go. Drop all this off. Wow, we're very thirsty. I mean, granted, we are. Look at the size of that bag. A huge bag. Um. And we are eating a whole bunch of spicy food. I do understand why we're getting a little cold. Are you eating foods that keep you keep the cold at bay? Yeah, that's why it says warming up. We have this warming up effect right here. Temperature increases. Oh, cold actually increases our hunger too. I mean, we're eating so much food, I'm not noticing at all, to be honest. Strength, so we do more damage. 
see if we can mine as much as we can here before we aggro that guy over there. Yeah, it's extremely cold again. Oh, nope, he's already aggroed. Run! Alright, we'll just dozy doe in his little zone over here. It's only one guy instead of uh, two, so that's good. It's very cold where he was standing. It's extremely cold over here. Hmm. I wonder why. Got our fat roll going. <laughs> I'm dodging. Dodge the power of the fat roll. Little fat rolls. Big man somersaults. We'll be fine. We'll do significantly more damage if we actually attack him now. Oh! That's close, he almost got us. Alright, quick drink. Stopping off. Alright, keep on going, keep on running. Alright, we're still not maxed. I don't know what level we're at. Back off. Uh, game? Why are we... Okay. Why are we looking that way? Drink? Ah, frostbite. No wonder we're losing health so quickly. We do know that it's much warmer over here, so we'll be able to heat up for a second. Yeah, they all... Ah, man, this new um, targeting uh, thing for combat is really messing with us and enemies. Uh, can we heal, please? We stop being at uh, extremely cold. It was warm enough here for us when we were here. Oh, I actually missed this ice. Grab that real quick. It was warm enough for us when we were here at one point. Why are we struggling now? Yeah, we're gonna have to run out of the dungeon then. We're just taking too much damage. I can't keep using our potions. We only have three left. Yeah, weird. We're getting, like, a permanent frost uh, damage on us. Wild. We gotta get out. We're gonna run out of potions here. Oh, keep running. Okay, extremely cold. Come on. Don't make me use another potion. Come on. Don't make me use another potion. Warm us up, please. We're gonna use a potion. It's too close. I can't trust. Okay. We might have been okay. It was way too close for comfort. Oh, it's because I wasn't eating. I forgot to eat. That's why we were still still cold. My bad. That's alright. We'll be fine. How close are we? We're half a level off. We're half a level off. We'll be okay. We just need to jump back in there, grab the last little bit. We are gone. A big bag. <laughs> I like that the bags get bigger the more stuff you drop. Good. Uh, let's go ahead and you. We have weak aloe potions. Regular aloe extract. What does. What's these weak aloe potions here? So I've got more emergency aloe. We'll grab this guy on the outside because he'll be safer for us to do so. Alright. We just need to get in, get half a level, and get out. I feel like you had uh, pants on last time instead of the skirt. Oh, maybe. Maybe I did have pants on. <laughs> well, we, we walk around, we drop off these big old Santa sacks. You know. Santa. Oh, we're totally fine. Don't worry about it. They're mystery bags for people to find. Somehow he didn't see us. I will take it. He did, though. That's the guy who was following us in here. Oh, get out. Dealing with frostbite. Gotta warm back up. Extremely cold. It should be okay up here. Okay, now we're just very cold. Alright. Alright. 
could try and fight them. We might do enough damage these days. Here's our damage output. How much damage we do to him? About 90. So it's going to take about 15 swings to kill him. That could be done. But I'd rather just jump in here and grab the last bit and get out of here. Instead of fight them off. Because we'd probably just level off doing that. And killing them would probably just level. Alright, we're out of here. We're done. Let's go. We are level 60. Adventure journey unlocked. Excellent. Let's get gone. Actually, let's heat up over here first before we go into the, the new area. Let's just heat up a little bit there. Again. All right, very cold. Otherwise, we might hit frostbite otherwise. So that is fine. Let's get gone. All right, out of here. Instantly back to extreme cold again. Uh, what are we going to do? I can't believe how frigid it is down here. Extreme cold, very cold. Perfect. We are safe. We can go on our adventure now. Time to go scout in the world. Right, what does it take to repair this thing? Oh, uh, we actually don't know how to repair it because I've never made one before. And it's probably going to be a problem. I didn't pick up a spare, did I? And so this pick's going to be done and gone soon. We won't be able to use it anymore. That's unfortunate. We don't have what we need to be able to make more. Hmm. Oh well. It did its job, right? It did its job. Alright, so we can go and teleport south or we can go and explore south. Not a lot of people build up in this zone, so I'm not too worried. Or at least if they do, they're up on the ridge. So we can go check the ridge line. See who's built up in that area. Or we can teleport out. It'd be nice if this little volcano actually heated this up. Yeah, so usually people build here. There's some people that build on this side, but not many. We could go up and then around. Or we could go down and up. Yeah, a little volcano hot tub. Exactly right. Yep. Probably go check the ridge line. It's not an area I'm worried about us building it, but it would be good to check. Check the ridge line. Come down here. Uh, I don't see us building anywhere around the dead around the dead, because it's always so populated. After that, we should might as well come over here and grab this bad boy. We have that obelisk, so we can teleport over here. Uh, then we can swing down here and kind of get a, a better view on what buildings there are in this zone. I mean, we kind of saw from uh, going up here. We haven't seen everything. I want to see who's in the keyhole, for example. Wow, that's star metal. Uh, go back to base. Hold on a second. While we still have a, uh, a tool that can actually harvest star metal, let's um, go harvest that star metal. Changing plans. We'll go scout in a minute. Can I move? Oh, that could have been really dangerous. That could have been really dangerous. It does mean that we need black ice, so it's a good thing I held on to that. We don't need nearly as much regular ice, but that's not a big deal. We get down to 50% health, we deal more damage, and we have more armor. That's good. I feel like that 100 armor should be more than 100 armor because of diminishing returns over time. Oh, hold on a second. What's this building? Either I'm blind or I just don't remember seeing this here ever. Also, I don't have my repair hammer on me. That's awkward. Some twine. Or two twine. 
I don't remember seeing this building. Wine. Give me the hammer. I'll put you here. Who is this? And how long have you been here? Time to get our scouting on. Psychaos. Psy psychotics, rather. And they haven't been online in a while. Quite a while, in fact. Climb up and see what they've got from up above. I mean, hey, we're making explosives. We could technically raid this base today. If we've wanted to. We've still got an hour and 15 minutes of raid window. Uh, and we have enough parts and pieces to make uh, enough explosives to get inside. This base is all tier one. We just need to find the main point we want to enter. We can go ahead and we could raid it. Not always, I'm not really a big fan of raiding tier ones to Oh, it's tier two. Hold on. I'll take that back. They've got a flotsam gate, but they've got tier two walls and floor. I was going to say, I'm not a huge fan of raiding tier one buildings, but it has tier two on it. Might be tier one, but there is tier two in here. Okay, I can't really see what's inside their base with the way they've designed it. I can't really poke my nose in. But it literally will only cost us one explosive to get in from the top here. I'm kind of curious what's up with this tower. Let's do a way up. Should we crack open this? Should we go and search what's inside? They've got they've honeycombed it. At least have an airlock here. Downstairs. Another one. Jeez, how many how many doors do you need? Yeah, should we should we crack this one open? See what's inside? Yeah, why not? Okay. Well, let's go get our explosives pulled together first, because we need to go get that star metal. Also, we need to see what we what materials we need to go and get in vaults. We need to start learning. We need to get some knowledge is underway here. That'll be good. <laughs> Pop it like a zit. See what's inside. Hmm. All right, well, first things first, while we're, while we're walking along, there's some other things we're going to need to learn here. Uh, we definitely need to know fences. We're going to need to know how to make braziers so we can get our wall hanging braziers and blank. They're really important. But we're going to need to know how to do planting eventually. Uh, elevators, maybe, but drying rack for sure. Uh, we're definitely going to be playing with the tavern system, so we're going to need that. Hmm? <laughs> Oh yeah, silk. While we're here, we should pick up silk. There's all the gossamer we can here. Remember, it's two gossamer for one silk, so you really don't need that much. It's like one or two of these nests, and we'll be good. If we can get like 1,000, that'd be great, because then we'd have 500 silk, which is going to be probably as much as we're going to need for the rest of this playthrough. Uh, I guess unless we make tier 3 equipment that requires layered silk, in which case then we probably can use more. This is all with like the bottom tier sickle. You just get so much. Alright, perfect. Exactly a thousand. Exactly what I was looking for. Alright, silk. Make me 500. Dodge these guys before we start looking at knowledges again. Make sure we don't get rooted. Don't mind me, I'm just weaving your silk into sheets for myself. Don't mind me. Okay. Continue to walk on home. Oh, let's see here. What else do we need to know? Okay, let's see here. So, training training animal pen. We should probably get animal pen. We'll probably want it at some point. Stable master. We can grab that later if we're actually going to do stuff with horses. Uh, chairs, elevator at some point, maybe. Definitely we need the better building material. We're going to need the coffer. 
we will we're definitely gonna want to get armor upgrades that's for sure a well probably not okay we'll get our blacksmith and our armor upgrades it's good definitely need those okay what else we got uh where were we oh, yeah. uh roofing fencing gate better tanning up tier um building materials this stuff right here burden stone or reinforced stone rather which we'll probably build in oh, got three of them on us hey got it. Okay. Get inside and we'll finish off the rest making their bum fibers into cloth so you can walk uh, so you can wear them yeah exactly right all right, we'll just continue to run that in the background. All right, what else do we want? We want... Uh, top tier roofing. Stairs, fencing, siege cauldrons, because we do want to get those crenellations. Very nice. Uh, gates, definitely weaponsmithing, definitely need brewing. We'll come back to farming the like if we really de determine where we want to go that route. Uh, vaults are important. Uh, we need tier 3 wheel of pain so we can get the steel truncheon to make our life easier. Uh, we definitely want the better stove. Uh, hardened steel tools is important. We do need that. Uh, a pickaxe? We might skip the pickaxe, honestly, because we can just go to the... We don't need a steel pickaxe if we can go straight to the star metal one. Uh, we don't need this. We just need the tier 1 version. At least for now. Alright, let's go reset. See what gets unlocked. All right, yep, we want the next one, so we get the master, we'll get the improved preservation box. There we go, star metal tools. Perfect. This is that uh, axe we're currently using, but we don't need to learn it if we can just go straight to star metal. Still have 213 knowledge points, this is good. It's very efficient. See here. Uh, yeah, we want tier three smelting and smithing. We want all the crafting stations. We're not going to have tier three on all of them, but it'll be good to have the availability to do that with all of them. Uh, one handed or two handed? I mean, it doesn't really matter which one we take. We'll make more one handed than two handed, so we'll do that. That'll be good. All right, we still have 121 knowledge points. Anything else? Farmer Axe, if we want to make that, but we'll go ahead and we'll get the better axe. We'll need that. Farmers. Is this the one that teaches us the... Yeah, it is. We need this. Perfect. We'll grab that. We can get ourselves that layered silk, hardened leather, and layered fur. It's important. I th think we're done. I don't think there's anything else we need. We still have 108 points left. Oh yeah, if we want to go and make top tier kombujin armor, we can do that. I think we're going to skip that for right now. I think we want to take a look at heavy armor, which would be the slaver's armor, the Hyperborean slaver armor. We'll look at instead. Um, I think that's it, at least for the moment. Perfect. Uh, in which case, there's our silk. Oh, this thing's full. Our silk. Nice. Uh, we need a artisan table, and I want to figure out what we need to make a vault, because a vault's going to make our life so much easier. Let's see, carpentry, artisan table. Just put it in front. It does. It, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. All right, and then the vault takes hardened steel and steel oh jeez hardened brick and steel reinforcements okay we're not making that anytime soon are we we don't even have steel steel fire takes you and tar so we can at least get that rolling while we're out and about from stone and tar you really probably upgrade this we're not using as much tar it's fine we're gonna go on a run we don't need it. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Where did I put my... There you are. We just need more boxes. Drop all 
this off in here. We got extra weapons, extra black ice weapons, which is nice. That off, this off. Branches, we can keep the meat on us, it's fine. We can keep the rest of this one, kind of use it as we go. All right, so we need that steel fire to make explosives. It takes a hundred. My crystal is hidden away, and my blood, my demon blood's hidden away. I don't exactly want to take it all out. I want to keep it hidden. Uh, so we need what two? We're gonna be pretty inefficient with grabbing it for the star metal. We're just gonna go grab one round of star metal. So how much do we actually need? Actually, we don't only have enough steel fire for one with this. We need more. Uh, I'd rather go and kind of set up our base and start making some in a factory before making dragon powder, but we could get started. Again, it only takes one explosive to go and steal all of our stuff, essentially. I don't really want to do that, but we only have one hour left today for us to go and blow stuff up. If we wait an hour, we won't be able to go and do that. Make base first. Kind of what I'm leaning to. We can always go and grab that star metal later. It would be nice to get it though. Let's get enough. Let's, let me go and unearth enough stuff here. Let me go and rustle up our savings real quick. I need 150 and two. 150 and two. We can do that. We can do that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go grab 150 and two. Let me go ahead and fork that out here. The hard part is I have to remember exactly where I put everything. All right, let's see here. Two, 100, and what was it 50 crystal? 50 crystal, 50 crystal, okay. All right. Uh, that'll do. Go ahead and grab this really quick. 152. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I want to make sure I get the the right amount. Okay. Jump back over to game. We go when we un unmute so you can hear what's going on again. Jump over here. There's our two, there's our hundred, and there's our fifty. And we'll say cancel doing this and make us one dragon powder. This one dragon powder will go and get that one thing of black ice. Uh, which we do need stone. And work hard. Do I have stone lying around in here? Do I have stone lying around in here or here? Where's my stone? I guess we just don't have any spare on hand. Let me grab some stone. I don't want to use this pick much more than I have to. I actually only need to hit it once. It's 100 per. It takes 100 stone to make one urn. One jug. Jug. Earthenware jug. Oh, it's 125, excuse me. Almost done. Taking that. I'll be taking that tar. I'll be taking that dragon powder. Go ahead and make the rest of this. We'll still make it anyway. We'll still need it. We'll go ahead and make our explosive jar in hand. And once that's done, we'll drop the rest of the tar in here. Tar. And we'll get that tar in another tin. Alright, perfect. Let's go. Right back we go. Go ahead and put this back here. Gives us an extra 35 health. Come on. All right. Quickly, we teleport back. Get that. It really, one node gives you so much star metal in survival. Uh, not survival. In uh, on PvP servers because you have four times harvest rate. It's absolutely mental. We literally are only going to need one node. One node's going to just. We'll be set. We'll be set with the one node. That's all we need. Oh, there's another map room over here. What? Why? 
second map room. How when is this decaying? The other one's decaying pretty soon. Alright, this one's not decaying for a while, that's nice. Alright. Super inefficient way to do this. Well, I saw it. It went green for a second. Come on now. Doing with arrows is just significantly better, but I was lazy. And now I'm starting to I'm starting to regret my decision. I, I, can I not place this? What? I thought I saw it went green at one point. Maybe it was like over there. I saw it go green. And our armor is really annoying that Scarf is getting in the way of our vision in first person mode. Not enough collision with ground. It's on this angle. Wow, this is. This is something. Uh, I dropped off my wood, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Uh, let's go grab some wood real quick. I need a couple branches. Oh, hold on a second. There's another one right here. <laughs> Alright. Can I get this one? I see why that's damaged now. Oh. Where was that? I'm green for a second. There it is. All right. Kaboom. Hey, we did it. Thank goodness. All right, we'll just let this fire disappear and we'll go ahead and harvest this and we're good to go. Crazy, there's actually two here. If we were greedy, we could go for both, but we just don't have the uh, storage facilities back at home right now. And again, this will, be, this will be enough for us to get all of our tools and weapons uh, like five times over. And we can come back and get more later. Oh, come on, it's right there. I just want it. I just want it. Come on. We take it. Ow. Hurts. It's fine. It's warm. Okay. Yeah, we really only need one node. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. What? Five times over? More like 50 times over. Good gracious. We got a thousand and sixty-four. It's insane. Actually, I don't know why I ran up here. There's that other one right there right next to us. Oh, okay. Well, you didn't quite make the jump. That's fine. We'll use this one then. We're not going to go back up. That's fine. Back to the sinkhole, which is this guy. All right, head on back. There's still some star metal stuff. Hey, I'm happy about that. Uh, but yeah, that's a it's a lot. I think it's. Is it five star metal for one bar, or is it two star metal for one bar? I can't recall. We'll find out in a minute. Wait, is there anything in that house up there? No, it doesn't look like it. I don't see any crafting stations. Yeah, if we've got enough steel fire lying around, we can just go still blow this thing up. Take a peek inside. But it looks like there's nothing in there. I was rendering in. They probably found a different place to set their final main base. We should also respec while we're at it. We should respec into uh, agility. Get 15 points in agility so we can run faster. Run faster, swim faster, climb faster, just so that when we're doing the scouting trip, we'll actually, you know, do everything faster. Uh, let's go ahead and get you back here. Which will be good, because then we can finish our, our scouting sooner and we can start building sooner. We'll go do that. And then we go get some human flesh and a press online. What do we need for a press? Uh, let's see here. Alchemy. Oh, it's enough. Oh, yeah, we can do that. We got enough of that back at home. We can make that real quick. So if we find some iron, we should probably grab some more iron. It'd be good for us to continue to be smelting that. 
You always need more iron. You always need more iron reinforcements. So much coal over here. It's absolutely crazy. I mean, when you have this much coal around here, you might as well just mine it all and then squish it in a fluid press for tar. You might as well. I don't remember what's up here. Is this just like a nice little overlook? Yeah, it's just an overlook. Nice little spot to put a base if you want to have a tree in the middle of your base. Oh. Is there any iron line around by this pillar? There might be. There was some at the beginning. Yeah, there's a little. Grab that real quick. How's it going, Cersei? How are you doing today? Good to see you. Only 100 and change. There's not much iron here. We do need to go get some human flesh. Some man flesh. I'll have to go grab that real quick. Yeah, I don't see any others. Alright, let's go say hello to our neighbors. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Cersei, please remember to go ahead and vote. The vote is neck and neck right now. It is incredibly close. Please make sure to vote. Tier 1, Tier 1, Tier 1. Okay, they're all Tier 1s. Oh. I never wanted. I need some human flesh. All right. 148 human flesh. Perfect. Get back to base. Let's build a fluid press. Squish that. We're going to need a grinder as well. Ah, oh, we need bricks for that. We don't think we have enough. We, yeah, we don't have like any bricks, do we? I think I picked up some bricks. We might have some in our stash, but... Essentially none. Is that any two? We should pick up the the hides while we're here. We always need tar, but we're always gonna need more steel. We'll pick it up. That's fine. Alright, perfect. Go ahead and get you guys rolling on the hides. Keep that going. One tar, which is another 25 steel fire with this bad boy. Six, because there is a spare. Good. You like that? Yeah, I probably lock these chests. Alright, let's go ahead and drop off our metal here. We'll get you working on bricks, and we'll get you continuing to work on steel. Oh, you ran out of burn. Yeah, that makes sense. Two. Finish that off. I think we need 50 bricks, so we're going to need more brick than that. And after that, we can get some star metal working. Stone. I do like this spot right here. I like where we are. Wait a second. It has a base up there. That's not a normal structure. That's a base up here. I'm gonna have to go check that. I have to go check that. Hmm. How's it going, Solaire? How are you doing today? Good morning, good morning. Solaire, we currently have a vote going. It is a ranked choice vote. It is pinned in the comments up above. If you would like to participate in the vote, please go ahead and take go to the link, drag them into the order you're interested in, and vote for what game we'll be playing on Mondays and Tuesdays going forward. Alright, perfect. It's fine. We'll go ahead and grab you. And we needed, what? This and some iron. That's enough. And... What is it? Wine? We got a stack in here somewhere. There oh, there's more stone. Perfect. I knew we had more stones somewhere. But in there. Only give us plenty. Got to wait for it to be built. Alright, so flute press. We'll just go and... Can jam this in here? Any chance? No? And yes. Perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and press out all this human flesh for all the blood. It's a lot of blood. You get a lot of blood out of that. This off, because I don't need to carry this or this. And they can just rot slowly in our pockets. It's fine. So that's fine. And then we need a grinder, which I'm trying to remember what grinders are under. They in, oh, no, they're in general, aren't they? Yeah, they are. We need branches. And branches. 
and fitty break. Dude, just go put you back on brick. Get them both going. Done? Perfect. Thank you for doing so. I appreciate it. All right, so that's done. Let's go and empty our inventory. More garbage. Don't need to carry that. No, I need those. I need those branches. I need to branches back. Kind of it. I'm fine with carrying the rest. Works for me. Two bricks. Sixteen bricks. Was there anything else we needed? Oh yeah, we need glass. We need an orb. Oh, we have a glass orb somewhere. I know we do. I know we do. This is all for the... Uh, we even have the potion recipe? Here it is. Oh no, we don't... Oh. I must have been thinking of the other one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of, the one for bone meal. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, we just need a glass flask, and we're good to go. Glass flask, water, and we're ready to go. Nope. Nope. Where's my glass flask? Oh man, I knew I had one. I don't know where I put it, though. There it is. Got it. All right now, we need to get some water in this thing. Run to the water. Get some water in it. We'll grab the blood, and we'll be good to go. We'll swap out our strength stat for our dexterity stat. It's not going to hurt us that bad. I mean, we will do less overall damage, yes, but uh, agility does actually add to other damage types. Oh, what's over here? What's that cute little base? Build with water. Because if you take a look at not movement, if we look at damage, yeah, damage from agility. So if we take this out and we look back at stats, we look at damage from agility, it's zero. But agility, I think, gives 10% damage boost. Or like it's an or either it's ten percent or it's a tenth of the amount that strength gives. Like strength gives a tenth of its damage to agility, and agility gives t a tenth of its damage to strength. So it's not worthless, and we're, so we'll still be doing some more damage than if we had zero strength, because we'll have some agility. But it's not going to be like a noticeable amount of extra damage. Alrighty. Back we get. Home sit home. Shut the door, please. Thank you. I will take three blood. Thank you very much. Dump that in here. Get that bestial memory potion going. Reset our attributes. That's knowledge. We don't want to reset knowledges. Rarely ever do we want to reset knowledges. This thing has got a two minute timer, so you gotta use it immediately. Hallow potions, we're gonna need those. Attributes, all right. Get our expertise so we can carry everything in the world, of course. Use to burden. Uh, we'll go ahead and get 15 points in agility. Uh, which one is it? Arrows, throne, precision, attack armor, repent, that's fine. We're not gonna be using either of them. There we go. So now we have jogging, sprinting, jumping, swimming, and climbing cost less stamina and are faster. Bam! Easy peasy. Uh, we'll go ahead and slam out all of our points in vitality. Oh, I clicked too fast. I didn't want to get surged. That's fine. We'll live. We're going to be resetting at some point anyway. But for punishment. And we'll put our last five points in grit. So we have some more stamina back. Bam! All right. We done. Okay, so now we'll be able to run even faster. Just everything we do is going to be faster now. That's good. Go ahead and we'll drop this off in here for iron production once you're done. Go ahead and drop off this iron in here for later. We actually don't need this right now. Leave the bricks in here for later too. We could make that grinder literally right now if we wanted, but that's fine. 
We'll be picking it up, which means we'll be returning it back to parts and pieces. Drop these off. But how's it going, Dark? How are you doing today? Good to see you. Go ahead and grab ourselves more potions. Not far here. Take some basic potions, put basic potions on there too, just in case we can use the basic ones in this place. Or I'll take a hundred of you. We'll take a really we only need a hundred of you. Hundred of you. And one hundred of you. I'll throw you in this furnace. It was fifty. Yeah, it is two. Jeez. Alright, so we're gonna want a second set of that. So we're gonna want just yeah, two. 200 of you, two stacks of you, and 200 of you. We'll have 150 in total by the time it's done. We've got five hours to burn, so plenty of time to burn. Not word there. There we go. Yellow pushes are good. We'll go ahead and reset you. All right, I think we're good. Uh, this javelin I do not need to carry with me. Sword. Here, so we can do some scouting while we're running. Hmm. <laughs> oh no, quick, real stealth. We must hide. Alright, I think we're good. When we come back, we'll go ahead and we'll make ourselves some steel, uh, some star metal tools. We can go do that. Actually, where are we at with the steel fire? Now I'm thinking about it. Ah, it'll take too long. All right, let's just go adventure. We can go do raiding tomorrow. We'll do some raiding tomorrow. But today we need to go on our adventure. We need to go and search. So fast. They're so quick. Almost never play with this perk. It is definitely a noticeable increase in speed. All right, where do we want to go and how do we want to do this? So the places that we were thinking about going to was over here was a zone that we could build in. Over here was a zone we could build in. Over here was a zone we could build in, and up here was the zone we were thinking about building in. I'm thinking we go down and over, and we'll check these slots here, and then grab the obelisk. And maybe we grab the, the axe over down here, and then we can warp back here. And then we can come back down and grab this. And then go up here and grab this. So grab the obelisk here, grab the ob obelisk here. Check this zone while we do that. And then come up here and check this zone. If we do that. Yeah, we're going to go to the land down under. Exactly right. I think that's what we'll do. I think that's going to be our course. Might as well drink up while we're, we're swimming here. No reason not to. What do we have here? A Cade, no owner. Well, do our server due diligence. Clean the place up here. Whoa! Look, it's warp speeding right now. You see how it's warp speeding? It's it's now going through and figuring out how much stuff's supposed to decay as it's going through everything. So you can see it's just updating. Like all of the gruel here is completely rotted. No, well, not all of it, but a good portion of it has. The box hasn't been here in a bit, because that just, that warped up real fast. Oh, what do we got here, buddy? Wow, actually a full setup. Oh, hey. Oh, someone's already looted you. You got sorcery on you, too. Yeah, no, that's a full setup of a base in there. Okay. We'll let him be. We should mark him on the map, though. Because... might be active later. Marked. What about you? What is this? Does he take? I think this is just a... Yeah, this is a little starter hobble. In here. Keep on going. Yeah, 
All right. Time for us to explore. See what we can find, see who's where. Always wonder if people are up on those ridges. We can get this on the map real quick here. Can we get this on the map? No? That's where we died when we were doing our Iron Man playthrough. <laughs> when gravity took its uh, took its toll at the good old narrow neck span. Brutal ending. Oh, there is a base up there. Okay, and it's a big base too. I don't know who it is, but there is someone up there. You can get close enough to see if someone's up on this one. Now we're out of render range. No one's popped up yet. Wait. What? You shot your companion. Why? Okay. Sure. That's a new one for me. I don't think I've seen that before. I don't think I've seen an exile murder another exile. I don't think they... I didn't think they targeted each other. Let's go check out this house over here. It'll give us a vantage point to see if... It doesn't look like anyone's built up there. These puffballs? What are these? They are puffball mushrooms. Mm. They're used for gas. This is almost decayed. Oh, there's some cool stuff in here. But it is a basic house. Low tier building. Um. There was a base there a second ago, right? Right? There, there was a base over there a second ago, right? Oh my goodness, it goes so much faster. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and mark this one for death. There we go. We'll come back here and check. There was? Yeah, that's what I thought. It's gone now. There's one behind it. But where it was is gone, now it's just... Oh, it must have just decayed. Because these are actual thralls. Ooh. A barkeeper, too. They're guarding, so we can't take them. So there used to be a tavern here. There used to be a huge base here. Or some sort of massive setup. Yeah, everything, everything literally just decayed. Stuff stays on the floor for, like, no... Oh, no. No, there's so many goodies here. What am I supposed to take? What am I supposed to take? Uh, get rid of all the branches. Everything literally just decayed right in front of our eyes. We need to grab it. Stuff stays on the floor for a minute in this game. Uh, drop all the stone and the wood. We don't need any of this. Stuff's completely useless to us. What else can we get? What else is in here? Uh, not useful. No, there's demon blood in here. We'll take the demon blood. Uh, we'll take the gold. Take the wizard's skull. Uh, good. Go okay, we'll take the Taskmaster. It's a tier one. It's not that good. What was that? Gracious, we'll take all the explosives. Take the gold. <laughs> Quickly, grab everything we can. I, I need these. Um, what's in here? We've got more demon blood and more gold. Inventory's full again. All this garbage. Give me that gold. The brick, uh, strong old tools, blood letter. Sure, we'll take that. Actually, that's not a useful item. Drop these. Uh, gold. Sorcerer map is actually useless. I don't need that. Why did I grab that? Sorcerer map, go away. Sorcerer map, go away. What else we have? What is this? What's in here? Not that useful. I'll take this. No! Don't you attack me do it. Anything else? Uh, dragon bones. Get dragon bones on our own in a minute here. That's fine. Oh my goodness. The loot goblin can't loot everything. I'm hurting. My, bo my bones, they hurt. 
Like these. Like that. Right, he doesn't hit that hard. He does poison us, though, which is annoying. Stuff I took already. It's all the branches and stuff I dropped. Okay, I think we got everything useful that we could. <laughs> Holy jeez. Alright, well, there goes the end of our adventure. We gotta head back. We gotta head back. That's it. That's where we're out. Um, oh, there's like garbage tools in here. These are our old tools. We can get rid of these. We don't need any of these now. Uh, we don't need these. We don't need that. Oh man, I did pick up a lot of garbage, didn't I? Rubber bindings. Let's head back. See if there's anything else I could pick up. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to the seeds. It might be useful. I can drop this stuff. We don't need any of these. Need that. Simple weapon fitting is not useful. I think all the bags might have despawned at this point, though. Yeah, they're all gone. Yeah, the, the bags only stay on the ground. The bags really should stay on the ground longer in Conan. Mad scramble for loot. The base decays. Yeah, they they really should last longer, though. They're coming. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no point in us fighting these guys. Um, I I really really think that loot should live on the ground a little bit longer. Uh, multiple reasons why. One of the big things is that when you're uh, being attacked, so what some people will do is they'll just despawn all their loot while being raided. Because it only takes one minute for all of your loot to despawn when you chuck it on the ground. So if it takes an attacker three minutes to set up explosives and try and blow through your base, they could get into your base and there's literally zero loot left. And all loot aggregates together into these bags. So I don't see how that would be a server lag issue. Right? Because they all get... Like, if they're near other ones, they just get pushed into the same bag. So I would really like to see that get up to, like, five minutes at least. Ten minutes, preferably. Let the bag stay on the ground. Maybe even longer. Just because... The fact that you could raid someone and they just throw all of their loot out is very obnoxious. Might as well take this on our way. Do I have a new pick in here? Also, what do we get? We got a Cook Tier 1 and a Taskmaster Tier 1. Garbage. Uh, Hyena for wraps. Yeah, we'll hold on to it. It's fine. What is this? Canine lure? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Like, ever. Ooh, we got a great saber. Oh, this thing is sick. That's a nice legendary weapon. We got a perfected weapon here, too. Tapestries. Bunch of feathers. We got um, Aegis Bane. Aegis Bane, which is a good weapon. Here we go to Star Metal Pickaxe. Nice. And a Star Metal Pick. They're both in. Well, it's not in great repair. What is this? Blood Letter? A tool for extracting the blood from the victims. Oh, okay. We don't need this. It's a ritual dagger. We don't need that. Uh, we can go ahead and we can convert this Gossamer while we're swimming on back. Why not? Oh, we got enough glowing goop for us to do uh, sorcery. Nice. We don't have to go hunt down glowing goop. We got over 100. Excellent. Got a bunch of aloe, which I'll take. I'll take the aloe. Got no problems there. Got more demon blood. That's good. Oh, we got some rations. Nice. Okay. Got a withered skull, which is good. Got some ebony silk, which is nice. Uh, that's my torch? Question mark? Maybe. I guess my fine. Got some old gruel in here. Uh, we don't need to pump all my those. We got some gems and the like in here, which is nice. We got another orb. Good, good. Okay. Good. We got a lot of gold, though. We got a lot of gold. So now we can set stuff up. This is good. Nice. That was a very close vote between the top three. Yeah, the vote is very, very close right now. I'm very curious to see where it's going to land. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just grab the rest of the iron stone that we can get here, since we do still have some carrying capacity we can play with. Grab a little iron stone from the wall. Don't do it. I said don't. So don't you dare. Okay, and up the wall. 
Come on now. You jumped up and fell down immediately. Oh my goodness. Well, this has already been a very, very productive run. Because we found a whole bunch of gold, which is great. Because we're going to need that gold to fire off the purge. That's big. Definitely needed that. We didn't get any tier 3 things at all, though. Which is a little disappointing. Would have been nice to get some tier 3 stuff. Because uh, if we got some... If we had tier 3 stone and reinforcements then we could have gone and made a vault to make our life easier for storing all this stuff because this is gonna be a headache again where's my hammer storage is getting a little out of hand to be honest lock that one sweet lock lock so we're working on the star metal now. Get the iron rolling. Uh, we got plenty of brick. We can go ahead and drop these off in here. Oh, it's a carcass. It's not even a... I thought it was taxidermy. It's not. It's a carcass. We've got uh, more tar. We can just go turn this tar into steel fire. Again, it's inefficient with what we're doing right now, but it's fine. Actually, now we have brick. Um... Let's let's go revisit that real quick. Alchemy. We just need some iron. Yeah, no, let's let's go and redo this. Give me that. Alright. Drop off the tar. Drop off the brimstone. And now it's one tar and one brimstone, so we're gonna get twice as much out of this now, which is good. Uh, we can go ahead and drop this in here and start making some steel. Because we're going to need some steel. We need some steel. Uh, actually, we'll drop off this iron back in here so we can get more steel out of it. Perfect. Okay. Back to offloading stuff. Drop this. Let's actually make even more chests. This place is just... It, this, is, this is not a nice place to live. It's just absolutely flooded with chests. This is why it's going to be important for us to move, but when we do, we're actually not going to have enough inventory space to move everything here. So we're going to have to go and sort that out. We're going to have to do... A, I think what we're going to focus on doing is just, like, breaking stuff down as much as we possibly can. Into most, like, basic components. We're going to do a lot of deconstructing. Uh, we'll keep regular aloe potions. Air regular aloe is good. We'll hold on to you. We're going to drop off all of these explosives. Speaking of explosives, we can go blow something up right now. We've still got 26 minutes. We've got 26 minutes if we want to blow something up. Lots of stuff. Ah, another black pick. How much? Full durability. Nice. We'll go ahead and we'll chuck the nearly broken one. We'll take this full durability pick. Perfect. Got this. Ah, Sorcerer Scrolls. Boo. That's useful. We could take the Star Metal Pickaxe instead of this hatchet. Air Pack. Watcher Mask. Oh, we definitely need you. These. All bindings. Balance fitting. Oh, hold on to that. Go ahead and drop off all these. All this aloe, which is nice. Just, I mean, aloe. It's fine. There was better stuff we could have looted while we were over there, but just the panic of trying to pick... I'm, like, picking up water as it's, like, falling through the sand is essentially what was going on over there with all that loot. I was like, I just... I need, I need any and all of it that we could possibly take. It was just all disappearing right before my eyes. It hurt, it hurt my soul. So we've got plenty of food on hand, like a lot, a lot, a lot of food, actually. Like, drop some food off in your pockets here. I'll take kind of the remnants of that. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we've got our big honking weapon if we need to go and do something that has high armor. Uh, otherwise, we've got food for what if it gets cold, and we have food for if it's not cold. Spare wraps and like, all right, let's go. <gasps> Oh, 
I'd rather keep keep exploring, because apparently there's some places that are decaying right now. Let's keep our eyes open for the next one. Oh my goodness. It was an absolute loot and frenzy. It was a loot bonanza. Yeah, so we're definitely going to have to break down a lot of our stuff. We're going to have to refine and break down a lot of the stuff that we have in the space here so we can actually bring it back with us in one trip. That's going to be the real pain. So we're going to come back here for indigos at some point. Let's go and let's check out down in this zone here. And then, of course, we'll, we'll run up and we'll get the obelisk and we'll go get the axe. But I'm kind of tempted to build over here. I think we've got some potential. It is a moderately frequented path, so we will be seen. We're not going to be invisible. But we could go and put our, like... Uh, we could go put our production facility in a different spot, maybe. Because they're not, they're not occupying the same area. We could have our castle and our production area in two different spots. That'll work. I was wondering what that was. It's a crocodile you killed. Nice. What the? What? You see that arrow? It just seems hung in the air. Hmm. But yeah, so we do have a Cook 1 and a Taskmaster 1 now. So Taskmaster 1 will increase the speed at which we manage to acquire interns. Which is good. And, the, oh, you know, we should have picked up some stamina potions and drank some stamina potions. So we got an extra 41 stamina. That would have been really nice. So we could run for longer before having to stop. It doesn't save us a lot, but like it's a little bit, a little bit of time, like after the amount of running we're doing. But so we've got the Taskmaster for that. We got a tier one cook that I guess we can put on like the brewery stand. I don't know what else we're gonna do with a tier one cook. We got a tier three cook already, so she's gonna be able to have all the recipes that we need. That's all sorted. Yeah, so these thralls are just going to sit here for a while until someone kills them during raid hours or they despawn after time. If only we could take other people's thralls. That would be kind of cool, right? Combat thralls you can't take. If you could knock out someone else's combat thrall and then put their combat thrall on the wheel of pain to take their combat thrall, maybe you have to reset their level. That's fine. But, like, you could then take someone's tier 4. That'd be kind of cool. Would be nice if they kept their level, though. I know we built up there. Okay. That would be pretty cool. I would like that. I think that'd be a good feature for PvP. Totally unnecessary for PvE and PvPC. Or PvEC? PvEC. Player versus player conquest. Totally unnecessary for those uh, types, but otherwise, kind of cool. Regular old exiles, nothing special. Hey, hold on a second. Hang on a second, we got a treasury over here. Hang on a second, why is there treasury over here? Locked decay, owner unknown. Nothing in the coffers. It's locked. Pinata. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> missed. They both missed. They both poked at us at the same time and whipped. Amazing. Nothing I want, nothing I want. Okay. All right, we found some stuff. What'd we get? We found some Night Eye Potion. A potion that makes the ability to see in the dark. I don't think I've ever seen this potion before. Got some Abysmal Flesh? That's great. You can definitely use that. Uh, some Standard Wood, we can drop that. Standard Stone, we can drop that. Standard Park, we can drop that. We'll keep the Dread Wood, though. All right. Not a bad haul. We'll take it. What do we have here? What is in here? Maybe we should have brought those explosives with us. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. <sighs> Nothing. A wind cyst decay. Tomorrow. Island. Oh wait, I think this is already. Yeah, this this. <laughs> it's already blew in here. I was about to go and mark us coming back here for later, but uh, this place already has a hole in the roof. See if this one has one too. How's it going left hand, Luke? How are you doing today? Yeah, this one has a hole too. Nothing. Nothing. Get a little white rabbit in here. I'll take it. 
Alright, there's nothing else in here for us. Alright. Easy peasy. Captain's log? Ah, we can do a captain's log. Okay, so here's a place that we've built before, but we haven't, like, built a base. We, we built a starter base over here. We didn't actually build a full base, because I think there's a guy down there. Let's go check on this wall, because this could be a good spot to build. We built right there on that little cliff. Too small for our objectives, though. The main thing we're looking for is making sure wherever we build that the there's enough space that the purge can actually get to us. That's what's important. But I was thinking we could build up here. It's not super flat, but we could also just build this into kind of a castle setup, right? We've got a bunker over there with thralls. We'll have to check that out. But if we built this here and left like this space open, they might be able to spawn there. They might not, though. This might be a little too tight of a spot for them. I want to make sure we get the purge to work. Because last time, it kind of, sort of, maybe kind of, sort of, sometimes works, which is not what we're looking for. We want it to work all the time. Yeah, there's a base up here. I didn't bring my my climbing gloves. That would have been really good to do. Climbing is faster with what we're doing, so it should be okay. I should have brought climbing gloves. That would have been good. There is a base up here. Just woke up. Well, good morning, good morning. Do the captain's log in a minute here. Let's go finish exploring. With the increased climbing speed, we should be perfectly fine to get up here. I know who this is. Oh, it's a true bunker up here. It's tier three black ice. Who is this? Oh, 150 Rock Block. We've seen him online. We have seen him online. Oh, jeez. These don't fall. I just, wanna, I just wanna get to the roof. Goodness. Some windows in here so we can kind of see what's inside. What have we got in here? Okay, um... Well fortified. Bunker goes down. It's pretty empty in here. Foundation, foundations. These are all foundations. I can't see inside. I'm not sure what this place is. Another foundation. Ah, you make it so I can't spy inside. We got the uh, the ghost wall right there. If you can't touch that, you die. All right, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll mark them on here. All right. We've got him marked. I don't know if he's got anything good in there, or if that's just a little bunker he's built for some reason. Maybe he did it for raiding someone else. Let's not fight those sandstorm beasts. They are not kind. Let's go check this bunker over here real quick. Saw this one too. Also, we should check the island. A lot of people build on the island. I know I do. Let's see who's this is. Made out of tier two material. No, it's tier one sandstone. Coloration was off for me. And we got Joe over here. We got a basic little setup. Joe, when were you? Yeah, you guys can fight. Joe hasn't been on in a bit, but also doesn't look like they've completely given up on this area. These guys killed him pretty quickly. Here's some tier 3 fighters here, okay. Let's go jump over here, see if his main base is over here, because that could just be a little outpost for him to go farm stuff. And his main base might be over here. No, this is Star Wars. Wow, it's hollowed out. Empty. Okay. Anyone else on the island? Over here. So this is what we built on our last playthrough. We built on this island. And unfortunately, the uh, it was too far. The purge was spawning over here and had to go all the way up. It was too far away for it to make the run. So it kept for like losing sight. 
giving up. Ah, someone did build up here. Yeah, we built a, we built it right here, so they had to go all the way around. It's too far, so we're not going to make that same mistake again. The Bagman. He was on two days ago. He's airlocked himself. He's airlock. He's, he's logged out in his airlock. Bagman, there's more than one person in the Bagman clan. I can't really see what's inside here. It's the way they built this with foundations. Are they foundation? Oh, well, okay. <laughs> there's no roof. Well, they've, they've, they've completely closed it off. I can't find anything here. What is this nonsense? Oh, no, there's no roof up here. Okay. Bunch of iron and the like in here. Um, bunch of iron. So I don't really want to go and loot off of them. Even though we could take their iron. And whatnot. But we will mark them here. The bagmen. Oh, I'd enter too soon. Bag. Alright, marked. We continue on our journey. Alright, is there enough stuff... We done seeing new things here that we can do a captain's log, maybe. Another area we wanted to check here before we go down. We've already come up here and explored this zone. We haven't explored this zone here, but we didn't see anything pop out at us. I think we're fine. I think we're okay. Button for punishment's great. Whenever you take fall damage, after, yeah, every 30 seconds, you take fall damage and you just heal back. A good portion of that health, so don't have to worry about it. All right, we'll go check out over here. This is another very common build location. All right, off we go. All right, Captain's Log. Start date unknown. We started our journey today with a run to the far north, the Temple of the Frost. In the Temple of Frost, we finally got ourselves to level 60, so we can finally build all the tools and equipment we need. On our way leaving, the Temple of Frost, we found that there were a couple of star me uh, star metal meteorites that had landed in the area. We might as well go and try and grab one or two. After grabbing what we needed to blow it up... Oh, we've got a billy. I've got a base here. After grabbing what we needed to blow it up, we returned and got the star metal we needed. And then we began on the main journey. Oh, jeez, Pika. Pika's, Pika's on the server. Holy... Uh, when was this? It's still online. They're still playing regularly. All right. Well, Pika's here. Pika. All right. We know where they are. Good. This base is smaller than the last time we've seen their bases. That's a good sign. So it must be that they stopped playing on the server then came back because this place had significantly more, and it wouldn't just be gone because there was stuff up here where we're rocking right now. So they've they left the server and they came back. So hopefully that means they're not going to be overwhelmingly powerful like they have been in the past. Here was another location right up there that we could build. We could have built for doing the purge. Because we could build up there, wall it off. We'd seen a building, kind of uh, a structure that someone had done before, similar to what I was thinking. And then they could just spawn down here. But uh, that's not going to be the case. Anyway. After acquiring star metal and preparing ourselves for a journey of exploration, we found a decayed base with loot scattered like candy in the field. Losing our mind, grabbing everything we can, including things that were of zero worth, we finally managed to get back home, drop off all of the goodies that we found, and finally go on our run to explore the world and find our new home. Let's see if we can find a good place to build. Log. So, our, so I was thinking over here, but Peak is right here, which makes me a little nervous. But over here is not a bad spot. Again, we have this area where the Impalers is at as well. But I'm thinking over here would be a cool spot. It's just barely in the jungle, not too far into the jungle. Where we have, like, jungle animal issues. But what we can do is, look at this, there's a very small entry point here, so we could go and like wall this off, build a small little courtyard here, and then we could build our castle here. It's not super flat. How did you hit me from over there? I don't know how that works. Game, please let me run, thank you. Um, it's not super flat, 
But it is it is a place we could build. So this is one I was thinking we could do. It's pretty easily seen now. Actually, we need to get that uh, cooking recipe real quick. Pretty easily seen from anyone that swims through this area, which is a decent highway, but not a very common one. It's one that people use when they're first starting out, but not one they use so much once they have the obelisks. Other ideas we could build on this island, but we can't actually wall off this island because there is a there's a camp here. But due to this little campsite over here, we can't actually wall the whole thing off. Cool as it would be. I guess we could wall around it. That could be this option. Alright. Cooking 10. Acquired. Alright, let's continue on. Yeah, we, we'd build up there. Which I think would be a pretty cool spot to build. Running where you did your purge test? You did your purge test in N7. And... Seven. Oh, right above Buccaneers Bay. Okay. Interesting. So you did it up on the cliffs, up on the cliffside, yeah. There is that one cliff area we have scouted before with the pillar in the middle. If we built on that pillar, we could. There's plenty of space for it to spawn up there. This is the other space right here we could look at trying to build. I was thinking. We build up on that tower, and then we build down to a courtyard down below, but uh, looking at it, I'm not not too sure about that. I don't really like this spot too much. The other spot I like more, that one over there. Let's see if we can find anything else around here. I like how our scarf just flows in the breeze. <laughs> We're so fast. Is there an easy way up here? Yeah, looks like I can go up and around. I can go check that. People don't really build here, though. Oh, we will definitely pick up the hops and leavening agent, though. We'll get the hop seeds and leavening agent seeds. Perfect. All we needed. So we can go ahead and grow these back at home when we're ever ready to start making some beer and the like. Because we're going to need to get the tavern system online and play with the tavern system, so we're going to need the beer. Some people build up there. Which I don't think we're going to scout today. There's a place we can. We can scout. Where is the way up? Way up. You know, some sort of binoculars would be really nice in this game. Where you can, like, use it to see further away. Like, to render in stuff that's further away. That'd be really nice. Ah, there's a lot of antics here. Here's another spot we could build up on that rock there. Oh, hello. Um, geez, why am I just, like, standing like a lemming for a moment there? What's going on with that? Uh, but up on that rock behind us. Flat rock there. We could build there. That's not a bad spot. Do not knock me over while we're running on this big route, please. Don't do it. Yeah, that's another one we could do. Um, there's also up here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Someone's already built there. Alright, well, let's go find out who that is. Oh, easy. They make our, they make our life easy when they do stuff like this. Jealous Gene on two and a half hours ago. Jealous Jen, rather. <laughs> Jillius Jen. Close enough. Close enough. Jello Jen. They've got a really big base up there, too, though. Looks like they're slowly converting from tier 2 to tier 3. They're just jumping straight across. Whoa! Okay, what is this? Oh. Ew. Okay. They're kind of spread all over the place, huh? 
I'm assuming this is more of their structures. It is. Yeah, same decay timer. Hmm. This is a common place to build. Because you can block off this, this piece. But it is a place that I don't recommend. As a solo, at least. Because the problem is... No, oh, defeat bird creatures. The problem is, it's such a... It, it's the main it's the main road. This is the main road to get into Zelha. Uh, it's, it seems foolish to build there. Altars. Hmm. Okay. You have just one door? No, you got a door and a gate. Yeah, you're obnoxiously blocked in. Oh, come on, game. Shut up. What are you talking about? Okay, so this place is going to be, like, probably fence foundation stacked, right? Yo, yeah, it is. All right. Jen's not someone to mess with. They know the meta. At least not yet. Rather be friends with them, though. That's good to know. Let's go ahead and we'll just mark this as more of Jen's. More of Jen's stuff is over there, too. The Avenue of the Sun. All right. We got the city of Zilha. I don't see anyone else building. I mean, we can't really build in here. If we go further south this way, we can find some more spots for people to come to build it. I can get some black lotus. I think we already got black lotus seeds. Oh, here we go. There's a lot of people that have built in the jungle. I'm kind of surprised. I'm not used to this many people building in here. Usually it's just like one or two clans. Jeez, is this a mess. For you. Jen. Jen, how much... Jen. How much territory do you need? Okay. So, Jen owns this whole section. That's a lot of space, Jen. That is a lot of space. It does make sense being only one individual that's doing all this, though. That makes more sense. I was going to say, it's kind of weird seeing this many people building in here, but it's all just one person. There you go. How's it going, Hoagie? How are you doing today? Welcome. Um... We do not, uh, I don't let people know what servers we're playing on, because otherwise the servers can be overloaded with people jumping on. Now, we don't, we don't want to get it to the point in which uh, we can't actually log in. But hey, thanks to the Twitch Prime, I really appreciate that. Welcome. Good to have you here. Uh, you can always do, uh, oh, who's this? Barnyard, recently blown up. Because they haven't been online in a bit, because their main base is decaying. So someone recently blew this up. Hmm. Oh, but you can do some detective work. There's only so many servers I could be on. Although I still do want to see Funcom reduce the number of official servers. Just so we get a higher population based on more servers. Not spread out as much. Yep, yep, we got to relax, go. Give me that. Sorcerer scroll, thank you. Run! Uh, there's a dialect we could have picked up over there too, but there's too many for us to go and grab that. Because we'd end up in a spot where we could be cornered. Although, if we get these guys, we could get some better armor. These guys drop um, Lemurian armor, which is, I think, better than what we're currently playing with. Yeah, we just don't do as much damage since we're playing with a agility build and a strength weapon. That's okay. We still do enough damage. Uh, nope. Tablet? What is this tablet? Tablet Jaketto? Oh, I already know Jaketto, yeah. No. You guys not drop Lemurian armor anymore? What's going on? It used to be a great place to grab Lemurian armor. 
Oh wait, with the loot revamp, do they not do Lemurian armor anymore? Well, hold on a second. Build page, I'll take that. Oh, I said I'll take it. Yeah, it doesn't look like they drop Lemurian armor anymore. Oh, that's a real bummer. This is a great place to just get some early game armor. Yeah, okay. Well, there you go. Hmm. Is he actually had a full compound going on along the tops of the cliffs in N7 and N8? Nice. Oh, it looks really cool. All right, let's keep on keeping on then. Oh, jeez. You see what I see? This is a nice little spot to put a stash. You see what I see? Tier one foundation spam. All right, who's over here? Who's foundation spamming? Beastmaster. Actually, it decays in a day and a half. Oh, really now? Foundation spam here is actually abysmal. This is just disgusting. Not even a base over here. Oh, jeez. There's something over there, too. Oh, look at this foundation spam. This is... For everyone who's new to the game... This is against terms of service. You're not allowed to do this. This is this is a bannable offense. You're not allowed to do this at all. You can't do this because this makes it so that other players can't build in this zone, and you're not actually actively building in this zone. Like if you do the layout of a of a base that you're going to be building, like if you build like a castle base, you know, like these are clearly going to be ramparts. This is clearly going to be the interior. This is clearly where the gate goes. If you're doing something like that, that's fine. But stuff like this. This is totally unacceptable. There's someone took issue with the foundation spam. Yeah, like this is this is absolutely unacceptable. You're not allowed to do this. Uh, this is a this is a reportable bannable offense. Don't do this. Be better. Don't do this. Because it just hurts everyone else's experience of the game. I'm gonna climb over this foundation here so I can keep on swimming. done anything underwater? Wow, it's dark down here. Now it is night. Doesn't make sense. The question is, are you going to report it? I might have marked it on, uh... I might have made a stream marker so I can come back and look at it, yeah. I may, I may have made a marker. I mean, they're not on the server, so they're not really playing much, so it doesn't, it, you know, it's not going to hurt them that much. To do to have a ban, but still, it's one of those things. It's like, come on, please. Like, there's, there's like being on the fence of doing that kind of nonsense, and there's actually like really pushing the bounds of what is allowed. All right, welcome to the dungeon. Why does the lighting here feel so weird? I think feels really weird. Yeah, don't be a turd. Exactly right. That's essentially what most of the terms of service for this game is just like don't be don't be obnoxious. I didn't want to loot that. Hold on. No no, interact. E. There we go. Angel Lunar Marine Axe acquired. We're out of here. You just interact with that axe that's on that uh uh on that table there. That's all we wanted. We're gone. Leave the dungeon. But with the server loading issues, removing stuff like that will help the server to run, be more stable. Exactly. That's one of the things. That's one of the reasons why I do want to go ahead and report it. But it's probably going to be. They'll probably act on it after it's decayed because it's going to decay in a day and a half. And besides, if we're back here in a day and a half and it has it's set to cave, we'll go ahead and press the button. But um, yeah, it's just it's just bad. We have base up here, big base. Wow, is it absolutely itch black. I can barely see anything. Wow, is the foundation spam over here too? Oh my gracious, it's everywhere. He spammed it everywhere. 
It's everywhere. What is this? It's on both sides of the of Dagon's embrace. Seriously, dude, and all the way around it too. Look at this. Look at this. He can't build anywhere around here because he's decided he's just going to put foundations so no one can. This is just irritating. Also, I need some light. Yeah, it's absolutely disgusting. This is just this is just infuriating whenever I see this. But again, in 38 hours it'll disappear, or at least we can make it disappear. This is just why? Wait, is this his base? Oh, hang on a second. We found his main base. So he built up here and then just foundation spammed the entire Docks. All right, good. Someone raided him. Very much earned. He earned that raid. He earned someone blowing through his stuff. Let me guess. He's built up here. Yeah, is this all him? Yeah, it is. This is all him. Yeah, I'm glad someone raided him. This guy. Ugh. Like, just here, here's the problem. Okay, they even raided his little his little spot over there, his little PvP base. So here's the thing. He has made it. So if you want to play on the server and you want to build here, you can't build on this, this whole area here. That's fine. It's acceptable. If you're building a big base, I get it. You can't build anywhere in here or down here or down here. So all of this zone has been blocked off. Maybe even over here more. We didn't even see. I didn't check up above. We know over here is safe. But, like, all of this zone here is completely unbuildable. And then all of this zone here is also blocked off, because we blocked off there as well. So it might even go all the way to here as well. We haven't checked yet. Like, this this guy has uh, a more than one square worth of territory marked where no one else can build. He wasn't, like, actively doing anything, it looks like. I actually hate that. It's like there's nothing that we can really do to get up there. I don't have the stamina to do it. Yeah, look at that. He continued down on the other side of the bridge. Oh my goodness, this is, just so, this is so bad. This is so bad. This is just, like, top-tier pinnacle level of, holy jeez, are you just making everyone else's lives awful? Because, again, also the, the lag is a big issue. This is a big lag issue problem, too. Oh, my goodness. Where does it end? I mean, he spends a lot of time on it. At least these are actual walls, right? These are at least actual walls. They're built all the way up. They have fences at the top. That's at least something, right? As opposed to just a one high foundation running everywhere. Goodness. Yeah, this entire, this entire island here... Two is completely covered. Dude. Dude. Jeez. Well. Hopefully after he got raided, he decided to leave. we get this obelisk. Is this more of his? Not Swamp Donkeys, okay. Swamp Donkeys actually are their, play, their base raided. Tune the bracelets. We can go and check Heliograph Heights too if we want to, but I don't think it's important. I think we might circle back around at this point. Kind of seen what we needed to here. It varies. Unfortunately, it looks like it varies. They don't have their... Oh, that decayed? Really? Oh, this whole thing's decayed. Oh, this whole thing can disappear at any moment. Thanks. Tell me you're an a-hole without being an a-hole. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell me you're an uh, tell me you're an a-hole without telling me you're an a-hole. Yeah, absolutely. That's definitely a show and tell right there. So he's blocked off this whole zone. Like that's that is absolutely mental. It's so much land. It's unnecessary. Um. But yeah, that right there is what I was talking about before. We could build on that and then have the purge appear over there something we could do. 
It's a building location option. Who's is this? Star Wars. Okay, this is like a little base that they had. Green artisan table, right? Oh wait, that means that Star Wars might have been the one that attacked him. It's an artisan table is used to make the jars for explosion, the uh, explosives. That's a rude dude. Oh yeah, it is. All right, take a look. Uh, do we want to continue to explore in the northern jungle, or are we satisfied with what we found down here, which is mostly just gen and a ridiculous amount of beast master? And mass master. It's lowercase that in there. There you go. He's master. Perfect. Properly spelt. Exactly as it should be. Uh, do we want to keep going this way or do we want to... We should probably go and check over here, but we could teleport out. It would be good to go and check the barracks. Should we look for, look for a less uh, holy neighborhood? Yeah. Well, again, the thing is we would be go over here, which would put us close to Pika... We could go north. North isn't too bad. I mean, well, we'll see if someone's over in Heliograph Heights, which I, which I imagine someone is. I've built over here before, not on the stream, but I've built over here before, which is not a bad spot. Now that sorcery is around, it's actually not a bad spot at all. Otherwise, we could build over here, which is what I was just looking at. Uh, the other option is... I. Think, where's that island? There was an island we were looking at once. Yeah, Jen built up on this one, so we can't use that island. I can't remember if there's an island here that we could build at that looked cool once. If we wanted to go to jungles. Otherwise, what we would do is we teleport back here and then run down. We should just run down here, grab this obelisk, and go north. I don't want to explore this. I want to go check here. So let's go check here, then we'll go up. We want to avoid swamp. Dudes as much or swamp donkeys as much as we can now. So let's go down. Let's us check below. Rabbits down here. Okay. This is another place we could build. We could build on top of that pillar, which is a pretty cool spot too. I don't know if we're gonna do that one. Let's keep on going. Hey, I'm a JK. Thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate that. Welcome back. Six months. Congrats on the new badge. How are you doing today? Good to see you back on Conan. Yeah. Oh, please don't forget to vote. And Rude, welcome. Good to see you again. I haven't seen you in a couple weeks. Uh, if you two have yet to vote, please make sure to go ahead and vote. The link is up at the top of the chat here. It's pinned. Uh, you can also go to the About section on Twitch here or in the Discord and go ahead and vote. It's ranked choice voting, as is the norm these days. Used to be multiple choice, but now we can do ranked choice, so that's the way to go. Uh, and rank them. Most interested at the top, least interested at the bottom. Just make sure to get that done because it is a neck and neck race right now for what we're going to be playing on Mondays and Tuesdays going forward. We will be playing Conan this week and next week on our Monday Tuesdays because I'll be out of... Well, Monday. I, I may, there might even not be a stream on Monday. So I'm going to be out of town Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Or Tuesday, Wednesday, and I might get back in time on Thursday next week. So we're gonna we're not going to be starting that game until two weeks from now. We're not going to be doing it next week. We'll be playing Conan, if we can, on Monday next week. Uh, I haven't I haven't double-checked my, my travel plans. We'll have to see. Okay, someone's built up here. Who built up here? Why are there triangles on the ground? It's weird. Okay, Pliskin. In Pirates. Very interesting setup here. I don't know what they're doing. I guess they built just in the tree? Maybe? I don't exactly know what they're doing. This I wouldn't classify as foundation spam because they've just put stairs here. There's, like, a purpose for them. And this looks like the foundations to something they're building. Maybe? I, I wouldn't classify this as foundation spam. It's not all over the place. It's not spammed enough. It's not spammy enough. There's a little bit here and there, but it's not spammy enough. 
This seems like they're just kind of claiming this little zone so they can continue to build right here. I think it's perfectly fine. I don't have any issues with that. You haven't played Conan since an update from a while ago that changed the attack combos and stamina? How's it now? Oh, so you haven't played since Chapter 3 came out. Or, uh, sorry, since Age of War came out. Uh, it's a little better, but other combat stuff happened and it's not not the best. Okay, well, maybe I take that back immediately. Look at all this foundation spam down here. I was okay with it for a minute, because it was like, oh yeah, they're just using this, this like stairs and whatnot, but now... Now I don't know. They were online recently. Eight hours ago. But yeah, look at this. Foundation span. Okay, well, it's, it's at least only over there. That's better. Still not good. Still feels a little spammy. I'm not exactly sure what foundation spam is, but it might just be foundations for future planning. Yes, that's the difference, is that if it looks like it could be used for future plans, it's not spam. It's fine. Ish. It's in a gray area if you're doing that. It's in a gray area if you do that. Technically, it's still not allowed, but I think I think everyone just kind of understands that if you're going to be building a grand structure, you kind of have to lay it out. But when you have it where it's just like outlining or zigzagging all over the gosh darn place, then, then it clearly is not um, a blueprint. If it's a blueprint, sure. If it isn't a blueprint, not okay. Yeah, so we'll kind of ignore the pirates for now. They don't really have a base over there, so it looks like maybe that's just like a future build. And since we are limited on how many markers we can put on the map, I don't see a reason for us to go ahead and give them a marker. We could check at the top of the mountain over there, but I don't really want to climb it. But people build up here. We can check that later. Some seeds. I think we already have some purple lotus seeds back home, but oh boy! All right, someone's at the someone's at the barracks. I, I had a feeling someone was going to be at the barracks. There's a sumo wrestler Twitch chat that's named The Cube. <laughs> because, wait, what? Because his height is 171 centimeters and his weight is 171 kilograms? That's amazing. I like it. Hey, who's this? Locker. It says locked and it's player unknown. I do dislike that you can go ahead and do that and have an unknown, unknown name. It does decay in two and a half days, though. Hmm. Looks like it has been raided into. Take a look. Like someone blew their way in. Are there any scraps left? Uh, no, all the all the crafting stations are gone. There's like literally nothing left in this base. The owner must have came back and picked up the crafting stations. It's weird to see zero crafting stations in here. This place got completely duped. <sighs> Likelihood is the vaults are empty as well. All right, no point in marking it then. We can only swing by another time and see if it's been repaired, but... Probably not. Uh, let's go to the eye that never shuts, or whatever it's called over here. Yeah, striped rhino tiger. Yeah, they're called reptilian beasts. Or monstrosities. Reptilian monstrosities. That's what they're called. They're essentially uh, carnivore rhinos. That's what they're, they're carnivore rhinos. They're scary. I don't know if anyone built up above. I think we were building that tree before. Keep on looking. Your purge base you built was to the river, uh, right of the river on N7. You designed it like a dock and a little bar on on water. I had the purge spawn on the beach. Oh, interesting. Let me take a look at that. Let me 
don't see anyone here yet. Actually, while we're here, what am I doing? We should go and grab this obelisk here before we leave the zone. Mire of Eternal Dreams. Over on N7. Oh, so you like built in the water? Or that was N8 I was looking at it's down below that. So did you build in the water? Can you get them as a pet? They sound awesome. No, you can't. It'd be cool if you could. No, you can't. Ooh, someone's got a meta build. Okay, this is a good location to build if you're going to build a tiny base. One of the ones that's like completely jam-packed and trying to ramp up to max level as quick as you can. Knock, knock. Oh. There's nothing in here. <gasps> it's empty. <gasps> Arkbok, what is this? You hiding stuff underneath the... Oh, okay. Weird, Rockbok, weird. I don't know. Hmm. You're literally built right on top of the water? Nice. That's a good idea. Uh, if there is just... Uh, if it just to take up space, you're surprised they don't just do that what they do in other games, like in Fallout 76, and limit the buildings to a certain number of spaces for some items that claims the space for the base. I think, yeah, limiting the number of building materials that you can place on a PvP server, and then decreasing the amount of damage that explosives can do, uh, or just, like, things that damage other players' bases, decrease all those, the damage it does by a little bit. I think that would make it balanced. It would reduce the amount of building materials required for people to go and make their bases. They're not going to have to encase them. Dude, really? Whoa. Who's this? This thing looks awesome. I like this. At first, sorry, I said dude really because I thought he boxed this thing in. I was going to say, you're not allowed to do that. You can't box in the obelisk. But no, no, this isn't, uh, this is just on the other side. This is really cool. I like this. Oh, this is more of Unknown's base. I raided later on. More of Unknown's base. This is a trap. Don't fall in there. You fall in there, you're your host. All your stuff are belong to them, then. There's another map room over there. It looks cool. I like it. Grab this. Alright, we could leave from here that map room, or we can still check the eye that never closes. I think we probably should do... Eh, we'll, we'll skip it. We'll skip it. Let's go back to the sinkhole. The eye that never, the eye that never shuts. We're not going to build there, so that's fine. Unless we build in the aloe scar. Good do. Let me check this over here real quick. There's more of it varies building. Oh, hang on a second. It's a dancer. It's the one that survived in the cage. Nice. Perfect. There goes our corruption. Like that. Chum bucket. Oh, they're active. Two hours ago and change. Okay. Alright, let's mark them on the map. Get out of here. How's that a trap? How's it work? Uh, it has fences on there. You cannot climb up fences. The moment you touch a fence, you immediately fall to the ground and are unable to grab anything while you fall. So it's rimmed with fences. So once you're in there, there's nothing you can climb on or jump off of to get around those fences. You're stuck within that two by two square. Um, and the reason why it's a trap is if I'm being chased and I own that base, I jump into it. And then I can open up one of those doors, or I just die inside. And then if a player follows me in, then they're stuck in there. And then I can at my leisure pick it up. This is another one of these. If this is just a larger version. It's been blown up. I don't think I checked this one over here. Cool structure. Was this here yesterday? I'm not sure. Uh, no. it's It was reset... 35 minutes ago by Swamp Donkeys. Well, I appreciate the beauty of this thing. 
They've done a really gorgeous job with it. It looks like they're still building it. And they got the map room in here, and it's accessible for everyone to use, which I appreciate. However, their main base is so absolute garbage because of how much it slows down the server. It's obnoxious. All of Pika's stuff. Yeah, okay. All right, uh, searching. Where do we want to go to next? So we've picked up the obelisk here, the obelisk here. We got this obelisk here. We've got that one and that one. So we're missing the bridge, the volcano, the one by Sephamaru, the one here and one here. We're only missing five. Not that bad. Yeah, Pika. We got the base over here by Pitfall Pass. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, we want to, I think we just want to go down here. Skulker's End, grab this and go north, yeah? Yeah, we can grab Skulker's End later. Let's go up and around. Was Pika a hacker? I can't remember if Pika was a hacker. I don't think he was. But I also don't remember. Call. We'd have to look at the VODs. We'd, we'd have to look at the VODs. The VODs are all on YouTube, so we could we could look it up. We could look into it. But I can't recall. Alright, we got a base up here. Let's see whose this is. We got another base on the right hand. Oh no, no, this is um Oh no, this is a base. Did I inspect this when we came here? I don't think I did. I think I just ran underneath and said done. Let's go. Let's actually go up to the um, uh, Mechamosis Aspire. Bolt of Killer. Wait a second. I remember this person. They're on the server too. They've moved. They used to live in the volcano. Oh man, they got raided like crazy. Must have been bombed back to the Stone Age. Or they left the server for a bit and came back. Not uncommon. The cult is here. The cult of Kaylee's here. Built right at the edge of the big old and uh PvE base. I don't know if that was a smart move. Pika was consistently getting called out for hacking and making undermesh sky bases. As recently as last stream. Wait, really? That's who it was being talked at last stream? I I'll be honest, I don't pay attention to the chat. I don't pay attention to global chat. But, uh, that is not good. Who's is this? More of hers. While we're up here, we might as well learn how to make golems. Greetings, Wanderer. Teach me your ways. has brought you to me. I am... Who else has bases up here? Star Wars. Who else? Anyone else in the zone? No, not really. This place isn't as go-to as it used to be. Oh, hang on. Who's this? Nestle themselves in on the path up here. Black Death. I've not seen them yet at all. Wow, it's a completely empty building. It's decayed in a day and a half. Like that, do you have anything else here? Or? No, it's just the main structure. All right. Vic is another Vic. I mean, oof. Vic was that was a that was a rough clan. Especially because they lived right next to us. Ow. Hey, we got gun for punishment and resurgence firing off at the same time. We'll offer health back in no time. Bam. <laughs> Don't worry. Our ankles are made of rubber. It'll bounce right back. Okay, we really can't go any further over here because Swamp Donkeys... Uh, their base is just so ridiculously laggy because of how big it is. We just cannot go there. We might actually disconnect from how much lag there is. We literally can't do it. 
Um, I'm assuming this is Star Wars, since this is the same... We're seeing Star Wars on here. I'm assuming this is Star Wars. We'll see in a moment. We'll double check. But the way that I saw the structure reminds me of last time we were on the server. Uh, that little building right there. I feel like this is Star Wars. How's it going, Green? How are you doing today? Alright, is this Star Wars? I feel like it is. It is. Star Wars either never... Yeah, Star Wars must have never left the server. It's crazy to think about, because it's been like... When were we last on the server? Like, five months ago? <laughs> crazy to see some of the people that stay on the server and are like actively playing week after week for months at a time. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll actually just mark it over here. Star Wars. All right. Star Wars is not a problematic player, so don't worry about them. I mean, granted, they have a huge base, yes. But they don't attack noobs, so we're good. We don't have to worry about it. Paul World? I don't know anything about Paul World. Anything about that one. Oh my goodness, Green. Thank you so much for donating that sub to Dalka. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate you spreading the spreading the love to the community. Thank you, thank you. And welcome back, Dalka. Who is this? Is there anything good in here? Arcane. Okay. Two and a half hours ago. Everyone was online two and a half hours ago. I wonder if right before the stream started, the server crashed. It makes me wonder, because there's so many different bases that have the same decay rate. It makes me suspicious. Yeah, some of the bases are really beautiful. They've done a really good job. Yeah, some of the decay timers here, they look suspicious, because there are just so many backed up on them. Oh my goodness, Green. Green, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Fuzzy Wuzzy. I really appreciate you being so kind to the community here. Thank you for all the support. And Fuzzy, wel Fuzzy Wuzzy, welcome. Welcome back. Oh my goodness. The kindness in the chat is overflowing. Right, let's go ahead and let's just learn Mitra, because we want to go grab that. What kind of build are you using? Currently, we're in a running around build, so we've got high vitality, high uh, expertise, and high uh, agility, so we can go ahead and run around quickly. So we're just doing this to run quickly, and then we'll go back to a... I, I want to do a Sorcerer Strength build again. I really liked that build back in the, uh, the Age of Sorcery. So my, my goal is to go do a Sorcery Strength build. But we're going to go have to get Sorcery first, of course. Blessings of Mitra upon you, Pilgrim. No. Are you come to this land to seek atonement? And... Learn this. Interact. Interact. Inter interact. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Come on now. Perfect. Done. Off we go. The path of Mitra... These are all just going to be spots to thrall, so we don't have to worry about any of these structures here. How's it going, Twitchy Sticky? Uh, how are you doing today? Or, uh, Skitch? Sorry. <laughs> A lot of official servers crashed for about two hours today. Ah, that's good to know. Uh, so yeah, that I think that something like that happened, because a lot of these bases have the exact same decay timer and are from different clans. So I really, really think that it is... something like that. Mercis was on earlier today, but again, this is just their... their thrall spot, so don't have to worry about them. I actually don't know if there's anything worth learning from this guy. Oh, that's right, they changed this up. This is now like a crafting station or something over here, apparently. Come. Come to me. Alchemy. Yeah, so apparently we have this is a crafting station now. Making midnight potions. Can't make them at home anymore. Which is really good. 
So one of the issues with the Midnight Potions is you drink that Midnight Potion and it teleports you to the Midnight Grove, which is a dungeon. So it just teleports you straight there. You don't have to run to it or anything. So what people would do is they would be able to make those Midnight Potions at home. Right? They'd make them at home while they're being raided. They'd loot up all their inventory to... Why did... What? Why did someone put these here? That's weird. Okay. Uh, they would fill their inventory with everything they need while they're being raided so that people can't steal their loot from, from a proper raid. They would then drink the potion and teleport to the dungeon to try and escape with all their stuff. And then they would just uh, they would run and hide all their stuff somewhere else. Because it's when you leave that dungeon, you appear back in Sephamaru. So it was, a, it was a real issue for PvP. So I'm glad that seems to be sorted. A nice byproduct of it is that for PvE, it kind of makes sense to have like a spot that you have to go and you have to go to to build, right? To make them. It's for a dungeon. It kind of makes sense. Who is this? Eek is over here. Ooh. Was it decay timer again? A bit. All right, so Peek is taking this place. I saw Swamp Donkeys over here, though. Swamp Donkeys raid them? Yeah. Swamp Donkeys has been raiding them. Peek has a base over here. So Peek has moved then. From where they used to build. The server is active. People are moving around. Swamp Donkeys has a base here that's been completely hollowed out. I definitely don't want to loot anything from them. I don't want to be on their radar. Hmm. You're good playing some Sipta? Nice. Very nice. A little bit of fire and luck? Yes. Warm yourself. Let's see what's up over here. You over here just watching me play? Yeah. Well, I appreciate you hanging out. All right, what is this? Oh, did we find his main base? This thing is... I thought I saw him on recently, though. This is way too long of a... Uh, too short of a decay timer for him to be on recently. Oh, it's a taxidermy imp. I was wondering what that was. What's going on over here? There are a lot of people up here. Oh, this place has been... <laughs> this place seems to be missing a roof. I don't know if you've noticed, but um, the skylight needs a little bit of uh, repair. Um, can we get back out of here with ease? Yeah, we can just climb this pillar, I guess. Hey. Cool, this is the bar thing. You can just hire people. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, wait. The is the best way to end the day. Can I, can I, can I steal her out of this thing? Of can I take her? For our own tavern? The thing? Back to the tavern in a second here. Do that? That's the new tavern thing I want to play with. I want us to build a tavern. Um, looks like this place has been completely gutted. Everything's been taken. Horns and the like, it's fine. It's not actually of much value here. Alright. What's your pleasure? Great. Short days, long nights. Alright, so there's a whole bunch of food or er, food and booze. Drink or talk. Talk? Building a tavern was wise, and freeing me to run the bar was wiser still. You shall see. A favorable day to So it does you. not look like we can take her out. That's unfortunate. What can I get you? I would like to be able to steal her away from this absolute um, monstrosity of a, of a shelled out base or a hollowed out base. Oh, yes. I will go up this way. Oh, come on. Proper way. No, no, no. You had it. Oh, good. Great. 
Ugh, it's the fact that it auto inverts the direction we're climbing as we climb. It makes me so grumpy. Alright, good, bro. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, so this base has been broken up. Doesn't look like you can go further down, but maybe you can. I'm not sure. Hmm. It looks like he didn't quite finish building his base before he uh, ran into some problems. He's also right next to Pika, so we really couldn't have expected him to live long, right? Right next to a big player. Alright, let's go get this obelisk, and then we'll move north. Got some good scouting done so far today. Going? Alright, doesn't look like anything's set up here. I don't see anyone building in the Shattered Springs. I guess there's another base up here. Hmm. Who might this be? This one at least is on the main road, so we can just follow the road up and don't have to do any climbing. But yeah, so it looks like uh, 150 Bach is... Uh, oh, jeez, there's another one over there. It's a big one over there. There are some huge structures. This is a lot more than I'm used to seeing, to be honest. I'm not used to seeing this many big structures all over the place. Merciless. Oh, jeez. So they own the slaveway. This place... Oh, I can't quite... I can't quite climb that. I'll have to go this way. Is this place uh, bombed into oblivion as well? I see a lot of damage when I pull out the hammer. Yeah, there's a lot of damage here. It's just to the courtyard. I get all layered up there. Fences there, their gates. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely bombed in. Oh yeah, someone went gun ho and bombed their way in. Technically, you're not allowed to build here because you'd block this. But uh, yeah, this base has been hollowed out. Who needs to go through? Who needs to go through gates when you can go through the wall? Oh my goodness! Yeah, and look at that. They did layering too. Meta nonsense. Right, I'm just gonna trust this place has been completely ho uh, hollowed out. We don't have any. Uh, we don't have the capacity to blow through this thing. It takes way too many explosives. We don't have what we need for it. This isn't gonna decay for a while. It's not gonna decay for quite some time. It's only been. It must have gotten raided yesterday. Looking at the timer on it. So it'll be a while before we'd be able to go and slide on in there and steal whatever remaining loot there is. Liberate the loot that has been lost behind, left behind. Let's see what's over here. It's a little foundation spam over here. But this base is blown through as well. There's a lot of just hollowed... There must have been a massive war that happened recently, like this last weekend. Yeah, Merciless had a base here. It has the same decay timer as the as their main base. This them as well. Oven. Definitely blown through though, so you don't have to worry about that. The land is littered with ruin. Goodness. We've got a whole bunch of small little bases here, but these are all brimstone bases, so we don't have to worry about marking them or anything. 
Everyone tends to have a base around here, just so you can get to the Brimstone Lake. Shattered Springs. Get all your Brimstone that you need. Very common. We can ignore all these buildings. Grab you. I don't see a map room that's available here, though. That is unfortunate. Because now would be the time that we'd want to use map room. Because <laughs> we've already got we've already got this one. This is the last. Well, this one and that one. Those are the last two we need, right? No, this one down here. We can grab that later. All right, we'll explore down here then. Explore in this area because we were thinking down towards the jawbone, maybe building. That might work. Got an Iron Breaker Peak over here, or Iron Breaker Ridge. Good spot for iron and coal. That place got hollowed out. Holy. All right. Well, we continue the search. We have iron over here. Oftentimes, some people will build like big structures in this zone, but ah, there it is. <laughs> like, but I don't see any yet. There it is. This is a big flat space, so a lot of people tend to build over here. This one has a hole in it. And it's made of Yamatai stuff, so I'm going to assume this is Star Wars, because it's the only person I've seen so far on the server that is built with Yamatai. Or at least Tier 3 Yamatai gear. No, it's Swamp Donkeys. Again. Jace. These guys. I swear. They're everywhere. They are literally everywhere. And except they're not online right now, so that's good. Oh, someone just went offline. Who was it? Let me look at the... Couldn't see. I was looking at the uh, stream replay there, trying to see if I could see who it was. Not someone of notes. But yeah, Swamp Donkeys are not online right now, so that's good. Our friends uh, Atio are online, though. Hey, Ato. Ato's online right now. Uh, Luke, left hand Luke's online. And we've got... There's a handful of people in Wizard Warriors. I think there might be four or five players in Wizard Warriors. I'm not entirely sure. Let's grab some silver while we're here. The Jawbone. Grab this silver here at the abandoned silver mine. Grab the silver, because we have all that gold, so we're gonna need the silver so we can make alchemical base. Let's take this with us while we're over here. We'll drop the stone, we don't need it. We just need the silver stone. If we almost have 2,000 regular stone on us. All right, guys. Don't, don't pin me against the wall now. Oh, that scorpion got annihilated. Oh no, we're encumbered! Whatever will we do? There's a lot more of silver in the mine, but we'll just take what's outside. Alright. Done. Alright, so we were thinking that over here wouldn't be a bad spot for us to build if we wanted to. What the? There's a player over here right now. Lupin, iron, steel sickle. I'll actually take that. I've got an iron one I've been using. Leave the rest. There's a player over here right now. Because remember, those decay after one minute. So there's a player over here literally right now. Go check that building. Again, I would really like to have that decay timer on that thing be five minutes, not one, but it is one minute. It is what it is. And let's just know if there is someone over here. Let's go see if we can find them. We're really fast, though, because we are playing in the agility build, so we can outrun people if we... Wow, we don't really have the stamina to outrun people, but uh, we can run long enough that we should be fine. we be able to run if we have to. There is someone over here. Oh, space is blown out. 
Uh, what's the decay timer on this? And a half, okay. Lately, bases have been taking an hour or more after... An hour or more after they are in a state of decay before they can actually be demolished. Hmm. That's not good. They should be able to... You, you should be in a decayed state. Well, the, the chunk or the square or the zone or whatever it is has to reload after they've hit decay. So if someone keeps running around in that area... Then it won't it won't reset and change its state to being decayed. We ran into that when we were blowing up. Uh, it was like us and two others. It was three different factions showed up at a place to go and scavenge it. When we found that out, city of the relic hunters. Anyone over here? Oh, they've actually got a shallow grave here. Interesting. Okay. I'm going zombie mode. Merciless is over here. Okay. Longer decay timer. Anyone got a map ring for us? No. Star Wars. Nope. No way in. Okay. Hmm. I don't want any of this. The water side. Pick up some notes or something, but that's fine. We're on a scouting mission. This building up there, too. These they are all tier ones and they're all blown into. So someone's been doing some exploring. Oop, wrong button. C. One. Three lessons. I can take their stuff. They're online currently. Lightweight. Do they live around here? Oh, the music just cut out. <laughs> Interesting. Ominous. Okay, no name. Fat Squad. Actually, first time I've seen Fat Squad's base. There's little swamp donkeys again. They are literally everywhere. What else up on the cliffs? Oh, but yeah, here's another one of these, like, trap bases, so... Once you fall in, you can't climb up because of these spikes. Don't be fooled, these are just backwards. They still work the same way on both sides. You discovered Action Park, right? How's it going, Metal Squirrel? How are you doing today? We built over here... a couple attempts ago. I think this is during our Iron Man playthrough or something? Oh, hang on a second. Who might this be? Okay, we built over here. I'm not going to build over there again. But who's this? Don't tell me until I climb it. Alright. We'll climb up. Wedge ourselves in here. Swamp donkeys. Alright. Swamp donkeys. Everywhere, I swear. Hmm. Yeah, there are always a number of bases around Sepamaru. It's the best one of, if not the best place, depending on who you ask, to get thralls. You can get a lot of tier 4 thralls there, so that's why I don't really check it too much. Because most of those bases are just going to be for thralling. Just for acquiring interns. But for the most part, I kind of ignore that area. Uh, so we'll come up here and we'll go and check these locations. And after that, I think we have a pretty good idea of where people are. After that, we go over towards uh, New Azagarth. And after that, we can start moving our gear. We can go and make a little base. Start making a making a move with all of our gear. Or at least pack up the main base for travel. Ooh, 
Boom boom room. Hmm. Oh my. Okay. There's a potential. Tiger coming after us. I can't get it. Alright. Boom boom room. We'll take a look at blowing their place up. Mercs. Haze in a bit. Well, these are all open. Darn, they're all empty too. Mantling bench. A lot of aloe. We could take that. It'll save us hunting down aloe ourselves. Knox. The table. Yeah, we'll take all that. Nothing else in here for us. We'll take it. But yeah, this might have been... They looted that building and stuffed it all in here. But in a day and a half, that'll be decayed. Or we could blow it up ourselves tomorrow. Kind of thing, right? We just need a, we just need a day of acquiring explosives so we can go blow that up. It's inside. Round Grove. A little bit further, we'll go check and see if anyone's stashed themselves in another one of these meta bases. Meta base locations. Yep. <laughs> There's someone in here. Let's see who it is. Tier 1. And it's blown through. Okay. Completely blown through. Jeez, who is this? Merciless was here. Not anymore. No ceilings there. It's potentially there's something actually hidden up there. Nah, there's no structures up there. Bummer. One can hope. All right, that's kind of it of those types of building locations. So I think we go over here. We can check the the crag. What's it called? The crevice. The crevice. We can go check the crevice. But other than that, I think the main place we want to go check now is around New Azagarth. This is a good spot for us to build our castle near our friends. One of your friends built their purge base out there at the Crown Grove. Crown Grove's a good spot. I wouldn't really pick it for PvP though. For PvP server, because it's a pretty easy spot to find. So I'm thinking here, if we're gonna go and build a nice pretty base, right? Hey, Dark Souls 10, thanks for the raid, I appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome, raiders. How'd the stream go? Hopefully went well. Had a good time. Conquered your enemies. Dominated the land. But yeah, we've got our friends up in this area here. We need to go get this obelisk anyway. So we can go swing up there and take a look. We can swing up here, see if this is a good spot for us to build. Because it wouldn't hurt to build near them. I mean, those guys seem pretty nice. And if they're doing, you know, EVE art roleplay building over there. Maybe maybe we can just blend on in, yeah? It was a short stream, crashed twice. Ah, that's no good. You knew that what was going on? Nah, okay. Or at least you know what the reason is. Was it just a small purge base? Oh, this is just a small purge base. It wasn't their main base. I see. That makes sense. But that's the thing, is that we might have to just build a purge specific base and then have our main base be somewhere else because of the implications 
we'll run into. If you want a good base for defense, you can't really have one that's good against, uh, good for the purge, because it's going to struggle. The immortals. Okay. Your base design. All right. All right, we can climb from here. Perfect. Up we go. We'll get all the way to the top, and we'll be able to go and start scouting around. Yeah, I think we've seen most of the players. I guess the main thing we still need to check is the keyhole and see if anyone's there. And we're going to ignore anyone in the volcano, because we're not going to build the volcano, so we don't really need to know where they're at in comparison to us. It's not going to affect the way that we, we build. I was thinking either on the left side of the Godclaw Pass here, which is this thing here, or on the south side of it. The south side of it, there's already a castle right there, so... I think maybe we play over here. Because we haven't built in this zone... ever? Ah, well, there's already a tower over here. So someone's already beaten us to it. it looks like they built it in Tier 2? It's all made out of Tier 2. Who is this? Snuggle tug. Hmm. I haven't been online in a while. We've got a nice this is a nice base. I like it. It's not good for defense, but hey, you know what? That's fine. It's already been blown through, it looks like. Yup, yep. yep. <laughs> hmm. How did you know? Well, I had a hunch. Alright, this place is... Oh, well, there's even, like, yeah, the, the whole spot's open on this side. Head and some seeds. Nothing on the bench. You have an upstairs. Yeah, the upstairs wasn't spared. Crawl wheel. In the same build we're doing. That well, was a cool tower. I like it. The design looks really cool. Right? This, like, two-tiered tower with a front entrance. Like an old-school lighthouse. Cool little fort. But uh, it did not survive, I see. That's a really good spot to build, though. Right here. I like that spot. We were thinking about building over here. I think this is a better spot for us to build at. Some snow over here. Oh, someone's got some claim. Who is this? Eshaw. Actually, it's three hours ago. Hmm. And this is a nice spot right here. Destin, destroy his place and take his spot. Well, that'd be really expensive. <laughs> it'd be a really expensive thing to do. It's a because he's got tier two buildings. If it was tier one, yeah, we could do it. We could do it with, if it was a tier one base. But we don't have the capacity to manufacture explosives efficiently enough at a large enough quantity to flatten that sucker. This is a nice little spot over here. This place right next to our, our new friends. Let's see, did he put doors on this thing or did he still leave it open? door on there. He hasn't put a new door back on. Let's go get that. Uh... Let's go run over here and grab that obelisk real quick. Circle back after that. But I like the idea of building over here somewhere. Since the... We're going to have to go and 
check the crevasse over here before we actually settle in. Just to make sure there's no one who's active in that base. If there is someone active over there, it might not be the best for us to build on that side. Uh, he did like you did. Your purge base was separated from the main base. Though yours was literally right next door to the main compound. Oh, nice. Okay, so you didn't have to go too far between them. Holy jeez. All right. That's a base. We'll take a look at that in a second here. Um, This base is huge. Star Wars, is this you? Eshaw made this. Bashaw, this thing is massive. Why? What? Why? What is the? What is this thing's function? Oh, you know what? I wonder if this is his actual main base. All right, Mister, come here. It's extremely cold here. Get some food. Keeps adding corruption to us, which is unfortunate. We are not staggering him at all. Oh, come on. What did he drop? Oh my good gracious, what? Black Lotus Seeds, Cross Lotus, Bricks, Still so Jeez, okay. Actually, does, does, he, does he have a withered skull on him by any chance? Not just bones. Wow, what a guy. So wait, was this is this your main base? I'm so confused. Oh, yeah. but, killer. Interesting. Over there. Is this your main base? Was it your main base? It feels like it was his main base. There's too many items in here for this not to be a base. Yeah, and they're pilfered out as if someone went and picked clean through everything they wanted. The blacksmith's completely empty because you just walk up to it and press F to loot everything. That's just normal. We're not going to take anything. I don't want to be on his radar, but... There's also nothing here that's, like, a must-have. But, um... This looks like this is his main base. Or at least was. This base is way too big. There's no reason for this. I'm gonna game, please. Where does this go? What? It's a path all the way across. Oh wow, Resurgence is actually fighting the cold. That's amazing. That is a ridiculous build. Looks like someone built underneath. We'll have to check them too. Alright, um... I guess if we line this up this way, where's his base at? It's right here. Alright, Bishaw. Wow. Something and a half right there. Someone built over here. Let's see who this is. It's the same team. No, this is Jealous Gen, and it was very active. This might be Jealous Jen's new base. Yeah. We can't deal with this right now. It's too cold for us. But... That could be Jealous Jen's new base. 
relatively active. Kills Jen online? Nope. Hey, we got some new players online. Excellent. New players who joined the server. We like that. Yeah, so Bichon right there. He's on his own. He's a solo. Wild. What a build. I'm gonna go check out the rest of this area. Jeez, this place. Covered in buildings. Okay, so they're on mines. They're over here. I wonder if this is their base. This thing looks awesome. Yes, yeah, it is. Look at this. A bunch of artisan tables. Oh, nice, we can heat up over here. Cool. Yeah, they've got all these uh, these hearths here to heat you up so you don't freeze on your way to the base. Smart. Yeah, they're online actively right now. Oh my good gracious, is this all them? Have they been building all of these? This is Jealous Gen. The Jealous Gen and um, Ato. Oh, geez, hello. And Ato seem to be working together. From what I can tell. This is mental. It's a lot of buildings. But these are actually like full out true built buildings. And Bishan's office over there. Looks like this is a potentially a group of friends here. Let's run back over to those fireplaces. It is cold. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, we got frostbite. It's cold. Get rid of those fireplaces real quick. Fireplace, please. Oh, I'm freezing. Give me up, please. Thank you. Very cold. Wow, okay. So they own this whole zone. This whole lake is all theirs. And again, if we're friendly with them, I think we'll be fine. I see no potential issues if we're friendly with these guys. And hey, you know, I'm all up for role players running around with their cool bases and the like. I don't mind. We can focus on raiding other people. Yeah. I was thinking about re uh, raiding Jen's base, but not anymore. Is that me or a player? Just heard an inhale of air. I don't know if that was me or someone else. Yeah, this is technically land claim and also technically not okay, but it's not foundation spam, and so I don't mind nearly as much. Because it at least doesn't look awful, these little uh, pillars. Doesn't look as bad as foundations randomly zigzagging across the whole map. Alright, so what I want to go check is the keyhole. See if anyone's nabbed the keyhole. Also, who's is this? Oh man, they are blocking the place we get our frost lotus usually at. Man, they've got a lot of buildings. That one's not really pretty. It's just a massive brick. Prefer, I prefer them to be pretty. Hey, look! Foundation spam! Woo! Alright, we're back at it again. Let's see who this is before we go check out that foundation spammer. This is probably for thralling, I imagine. Right? Yeah, it's for thralling. Rock. Rock block. So we built up on there on one of our playthroughs, which is fun. Good spot. We now know how to effectively raid that spot, too, now. <laughs> After we've been raided. They just used the, um, the the ice bridge to get up. That's what they used. All right, who is this? Guys, this is Foundation Spam. You're not allowed to do this. Don't do this. Aito. Well, we're not raiding them. We like them. But they are... They own way too much of this land. Yeah, they're Foundation Spammed around here. They're, they're not allowed to do that. I mean, for all we know, though, with their other builds, this might actually be a blueprint, to be honest. We, I don't think we can actually tell for certain with them, because they've, they've got some really big builds. 
This we could give him the benefit of the doubt. This is actually for a blueprint. I don't know. You're off. You're out of here. All right. Take care. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time. We'll be playing more of this again soon. All right. Swamp donkeys then pick up over here. Okay. Let me guess. Swamp donkeys at the keyhole. Man, the problem with the server is there's a lot of just massive sections of ter territory you cannot build in. That's that's the big issue with the server. Here comes foundation spam again. It's tier 3, though, so I feel less worried about it as foundation spam. But it looks like they're trying to claim the keyhole. I, I don't think they have it since they're building it like that spam. Good old foundation spam. Not allowed to do this, guys. Come on. Looks like someone might have raided them, though. Or maybe they just ran out of material, or they're still building it up. Not sure. Oh no, that's 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 evidence of a raid. The swamp donkeys used to own the keyhole. Oh, looks like they boarded it back up. Keyhole. Honestly, the keyhole just needs to be made a non-buildable territory. It really just needs to be made a non-buildable spot. It's such an issue. Swamp Tuckies was here recently, too. So this, for all we know, could be their main base. One of their many. Go ahead and mark them here. Because they have this whole spillway to the point, like, this entire spillway. To the point where it's a lag fest. Yeah, we might not be allowed to build up here. I have to find a different spot to build. We keep circling around. We'll check, like, Freya's watch. Got up here. Is that might be somewhere we could build and still get the purge? But we we can't get too close to the we can't get clue clo too close to the spillway, or else we're gonna be dealing with massive lag all the time. Oh hello, this place got raided. Got this place got blown to bits. It's unfortunate. It's kind of a nice. I imagine this looked pretty nice. West. Base looked like it might have actually had a decent design to it. I imagine this place is completely pick clean at this point, but we'll take a peek. Yeah, you know what? I kind of like how this is built. I don't really know about this ramp here, but. Not bad. Hey, hold on a second. What we got in here? Uh, nothing good. Some crystal in here, actually. We can take that. Everything else is garbage. All right, let's continue our journey up. So I'm thinking if we built somewhere around here, we should still be able to get the purge to fire off. Because there's a lot of open space. Over here by Freya's whatever this place is called. I saw something. What is this place called? Do you have anything good? Whoa. Freya's hovel. To the outlander. Oh jeez. Spears are so mean. Oh my goodness, this has got so much health. Spears are so mean. I'm gonna pick everything up. There's gold in there, and there's some silver and some iron. Or sorry, steel. Pretty good find. Yeah, Freya's the one who's standing there at the edge, the ledge. What about up here? Ah, we do have a build up here. There often is one. I was like, wait a second, why is there a bear down here? This is safe. <laughs> there, bears don't spawn up here. I know this zone. This is a little obnoxious to get up to because of the ghost wall here. So it looks like they use a... 
an elevator so that they then break down when they're not online. Not a bad idea. Wow, look at all these cauldrons up here, too. Urge definitely can't navigate up here, though. Come on now. No, 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 come on now. Come on now. I believe in you. you climb this sucker. Done it before in a previous life. Who is this? And are you an active player? No, not an active player. And slig sligity. Okay. So what is that I'm hearing? Walls. I think I'm hearing a um, an alchemy alchemy table. Not here. Hmm. Oh, might have been raided. Might have been raided. Yeah, I don't think I have the stamina to get up this way. Bounce guard for ridge line. We might be able to get up this. It looks like it was raided over here. Yeah, I don't know if we have the stamina for that. I don't think we have the stamina for this. Yeah, there it's missing fences up here. It might have been raided on this side. We might just barely. We might be able to do it because we are playing with the uh, agility build. Let's just climb a lot faster. Well, it's going to be a very, very close call. Come on! Nope. Well, it's going to hurt. <laughs> Managed to not die. That's good. Uh, Do I have... I have hide on me. <laughs> Let's put a bit of roll down real quick. Overlapping terrain and some flat terrain. I really like to build up here. I want to build up here. Yeah, no, it's definitely rated. You can see it from here. Alright, so the question is, can we manage to get up there? Because it's definitely raided. I want to see what's in there, and depending on how badly it's been raided, it might be something that we can... We can take advantage of, and we can build up here regardless, even though their their old base, the old scar of their base is still here. Problem is, we can't build any footholds or anything for us to stop falling. But we are playing with incredibly low stamina. So, if we just had a couple more points in stamina and a few points less in vitality, we'd be able to more easily do it. Actually, we might, might just barely have this. Oh, we got it. <laughs> oh, close. <laughs> Three stamina left. Woo! Alright, we did it. Nice. Yes, this place was definitely raided. They built it right at the edge, too, didn't they? Oh, huh, got Freya over here. That's what that that sound was. I didn't want to, didn't want to chuck that. Can I... Okay, inventory. I'm taking that tar. Doesn't look like I can take the people on it, but... I can take the tar, at least, which is valuable. all this. Oh, they actually have a charcoal kiln here. Nice. That tar. That tar. 
Do not touch the ghost wall. Do not I mean, if we do, it's not going to be that bad. Because we do have a bedroll over there, but getting up here is tough enough as is. Can't get me closer. Well, I'm going to have to give up on that one. That's fine. A decent amount of tar out of this place, though. That's good. What fray is here? A drawbridge. Sure, I'll take a drawbridge. I get drawbridge, why not? Yeah, I'm confident that's what they've been using. They've been using a uh, elevator there. Here's the question. Do we get inside the main base? No. This then brings you inside the main base. Weird, there's a wall here. Maybe all their crafting stations are gone? Nothing but doors. Huh. What happens if you touch the wall? Uh, if we touch if we touch the wall, we instantly die. We get a fun cutscene and we die. Immediately. I didn't even check that that um box. Yeah, I think the rest of the structure probably just broke down with explosives. No! I don't know what's in the box. We can't get up back up from here. These fences are going to do damage to us and we'll fall. We won't be able to cling onto the wall to reduce fall damage. Ah, oh, bummer. Uh, but yeah, if you touch the green wall, there's an animation of you like choking to death from poison. And uh, you just instantly die. Oh. No. Try again. See if we can get back up there. Um, so the lore reason as to why that happens is you can see on, you can, oh my goodness, our armor too. You can see on our wrist here, we've got that bracelet. That bracelet has a, uh, an emerald with two gold swooshes. <laughs> I don't know, like a loops or whatever around it that are that are holding the emerald in place. Those two gold emerald thing, uh, golden loops around the emerald. The emerald has magic on it that um, lets us understand all languages, lets us see the ghosts, right, that we see around on the map. And those two little golden thingy mabobbers come to life the moment you touch the ghost wall and bite you because they're actually snakes and you die from the venom. That is the lore reasons. If you're curious as to what, why you just instantly die, is what keeps you within the exiled lands. It keeps you tethered within here. They were uh, they were slave bracelets that were used by the ancient ones to keep uh, humanity enslaved after the Great War. Well, it's gonna be a close call again. I actually don't think we're gonna make it this time. Last time we made it with just like three. Yeah, we're not gonna make it this time. No, there's no way we're not gonna make it. Oh, we're not gonna make it. Oh, can we? Wait, hold on. Nope. No, we're, we're host. <laughs> Down we go. Uh, we made it without a scratch, though. That's fine. There might have been some stuff in there and there might not have. But he's not there, so we can, we can make a plan about that. Rebacus, thank you so much. I really appreciate you donating. I really do. I can't believe it. It only took 10 months to get there, but we're there. Yeah. Finally have a donation link. It only took 10 months of constant nagging. I mean encouragement. A constant encouragement. After five, six, almost six years of streaming to have a donation link. It's up and online as of last, this week? Yeah, yesterday. As of yesterday. As of yesterday, it's up and online. But thank you. I really appreciate you donating. And welcome. How are you doing today, Provacus? You can loot that guy's oil uh, without the guards, they don't mind. Uh, because we are out of the raid window, we're out of raid hours, if we take a look at the server's hours here, uh, raid window is from 1800 to 2300 local time, uh, server local time, uh, which for me means 6, I'm, I'm in local time, so that's uh, 6 p.m. to 11 p.m., and it is currently 12.30 a.m. over here. Um their guards can't attack us. So we can interact and with all of their stuff, so long as it's not locked. Doesn't look like you can lock those. 
But it looks like he's not active and he's been completely raided, which is awesome news for us. We like that. Verbalkus, thank you so much for donating again. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the five. Zelly, I will know the... <laughs> Zelly will know, now know the power of the coffee? Uh-oh. Oh. Coffee power. Here we go. Yes, we are a Californian. Yes, I am. In the great state, the great huge state of California. Let's take a look around here. We might build here, actually. I think this might be a place to build. It feels pretty quiet. Um, swamp dongs have kind of made this area uninhabitable for many people. So this might be a good spot for us to be. As long as you don't go too close to their laggy space, we should be okay. The other is part of the NCR. Yes, yes. Yes, we are part of the NCR. I mean, it's the reason why the first time I played, uh, like the very, very first time I played, blanking on it. Call up New Vegas. I did side with the NCR. Absolutely did. Uh, then the second time I played through it, uh, I did the Legion. And then the third time I played through it, which was on, on stream, we went our own way. Dawnbridge? Who? I've not seen you on the server or anything about you at all. What is this? Dawn Brigade. Um. Okay, so Dawn Brigade, as we can tell, instantly is brand new to the game. Dawn, Dawn Brigade, it is brand new to the game. Brand new to this game. How Zelda hard can you tell? Well, their walls are backwards. The wood goes on the inside of the building, you dingus. The stone goes on the outside. So we got a brand new noob over here, so that's good. Very nice. Hmm. Maybe they like the better that way? Maybe they do. I don't know if it still is, but it used to be that the inside of walls took more damage than the outside of walls from explosives. Okay, maybe we don't build over here. There's a lot of structures over here. So this is Swamp Dog's absolute just cancerous building over here. I don't know how much we can we can inspect of it because of the lag. But this goes all the way down. Oh jeez. Okay, maybe we should maybe we should leave. Ugh! Run away! How do they play over there? How do they play in their in their base? How do they do anything in their base? Oh my good gracious. Please don't tell me that's also more swamp dogs. This is Bee Pirates lives over here. Actually, they're online, aren't they? Oh, they were a moment ago. Wait, who's this? Gore. They're new. Huh. I want to do my best to try and get up here and inspect this without turning around and seeing the monstrosity <gasps> zone in. Oh, come on. I just want to see who this is. You feel like everywhere you have been is all built up? Yeah, I'm trying to find a new place. Because the lag is just ridiculous here. My bee pirates lives up there. Okay. This is be pirates. Okay. Yeah, so I was, I was kind of hopeful that maybe we could build over here, but nope. The lag over here is insane. Time for a siege? Uh, only if we're okay with the server crashing during the siege. <laughs> only if we're alright with the server falling apart due to it. This person's building up, whoever this is. Be pirates, okay. Maybe this was their original base before they moved up there. Yeah, no, this this is this is just this is bad. This is just bad. This is just bad. The server just cannot take it. I don't know how they play in their in their base. 
Gremlin. He's, wow, okay, so someone must have gone raiding. Uh, someone must have gone raiding around five and a half days ago. Because there's a lot of people that are two and a half days out from Decay. Is Borderline unplayable? Yeah, it is. It is absolutely unplayable in that zone. You just you cannot do anything over there. This server is very, very built up and very, very laggy. Which kind of makes me wonder if what we should do is find a small corner somewhere, go and play with the purge mechanics, and then be an absolute villain to the server and just clear. <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting tempted. I'm getting tempted that what we do is we put on our we put on our evil uh, we put on our evil hat and, and mustache and end up having to go like clear a good portion of the server because this is ridiculous. This is insane. Whether I think uh, Conan got to introdu got introduced to uh, pay to play play pay to play servers. Um, it's kind of crazy. Need need a community clear up on the server. That's, it, it's a little insane. I mean, I I want I'm always the friendly guy on these servers. I'm always the friendly guy on these servers. But like, this is a bit much. Want to see Evil Zelda? Uh, this is a bit much. And we know how to we we know this game really well. And if we're willing to put in the time, we can we can start clearing. Of course, we would have to start with the people that are doing evil things first, right? We have to go up to the people that do the do the foundation spamming first. We're not going after the people that make the really nice, pretty buildings. We'll probably leave them alone because I, I can't be that. Mean. Who built up here? <laughs> Who's this? Oh my good gracious! It's another huge structure. We're lagging over here. Oh my good gracious. Who's this? Wizard Warriors is over here. Uh, okay, okay. We haven't seen a bunch of spam from them yet, so that's okay. Wizard Warriors. It's not spelled right, but that's fine. Between everything being built up and some very uh, blatant land claim, yeah. The, the, the blatant land claim stuff is the stuff that I'm like tempted for us to go and just purge. Which, if that's the case, then the jungle would be where we should go build. Because the jungle doesn't didn't seem like there's a lot of active players over in the jungle. Who's this? That's the NPC, okay. It didn't seem like the jungle was too built up in terms of active players, but built up with a lot of people that have just done nonsense. And if that's the case, that means we'd be able to go and set up over there, do purge stuff, and then then we can, you know, in like two, three weeks, get aggressive. Right? We haven't, have we done a, have we done a single playthrough of building in the jungle? I'm, I'm trying to, I'm racking my brains, and I don't think we have. I don't think we have. Have we done one? Hmm. The Immortals. Blown out base. Mix. Hmm. This is completely cleared. They tried to layer themselves in too. Mistake. Work out well at all. Look at all these buildings over here too. New Azagarth is just completely covered. Yeah, I don't think we can build in this zone. There's way too much build up here. Like, there's just no space for us to squeeze in. Oh, Renland. 
He's got more stuff here. Is he's his decay timer still about the same? Let's let that let these guys run off and then we'll jump in. You've always built in the desert, except one time in the highlands? Really? Let me rack my brain. We built here. We built here. We built here. We built... Yeah, we're mostly building around here, aren't we? We built here. We built here. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all we've done. Yeah, we have a lot of lurkers that hang out in chat here. Yeah, we have a lot of lurkers that hang out in chat here. Yeah, I think I think that's it. I think those are all the places that we've built. We've not built in the snow, because I don't like building in the snow. We haven't built in the dead mounds because it's got so much traffic. Oh, no, no, we built here, too. We built here. We built here. Uh, I don't build in the dead mounds region because there's so much traffic over there because... Uh, or the mounds of the dead because it's a big thrall zone just like i usually don't build right within like this area here either because it's a big thrall zone nor around here because it's a big thrall zone that's why we built way over here same thing with the black galleon over here but we did build nearby black galleon isn't as common these days but yeah no and i'm thinking about it. i don't think we've built in the jungle at all not once Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I had to, to pull our bracelet so we could go ahead and move because we were stuck in the floorboards again. Yeah, no, we've not built in the snow. We've not built in the volcano. We've not built in this area. We've built down here. We've only built here once. I really want to build down here one of these days, but golly, we can't. There's way too much lag. We... I don't really want to build around here. Not too interested in that. What's that pathing noise? Alright, I think we go to the jungle. I think we build in the jungle. Goodness. Let's fight to slide through. Take the iron stone. Hey! I'll take a smelter. Those orbs are actually valuable. Nice. Oh, we've got brick. More brick. First person here. Don't need anything from there. Anything from there. Yeah, do you own all the mounds? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the mounds of the dead are just completely covered. We don't need that weapon. We don't need any of those. We'll take the short sword. We'll also take the alcohol too. Useful. To the bark, we will take. We will take this bark. Why not? Sand root toxin. We'll take two of those. Golem. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, oil is always good. Wine is good. We'll take the brimstone. Advanced toolkit. We'll take the advanced toolkit. That's good. We'll take that. It saves us. Make it ourselves. Accidentary bear. Silver, crystal, iron. And we'll take the fur because we're kind of low on fur back at home. Yeah, there's some stuff worthwhile in here. Not like, you know, lose your mind, it's amazing loot, but worth taking. It's the lag. Oh, the lag. It just hurts me to my core. Let's get out of here. We need to work to bring out evils out there. Oh, it just feels so mean. Oh. <laughs> I was going to snow a lot. How are you doing today? Welcome back. Good to see you again. 
The average Witcher 3 video is four and a half hours. And I sleep through... I mean, yeah. The, the Witcher 3... We're still uploading the Witcher 3 VODs. We're about halfway through uploading all those. Uh, and the last Grounded episode will be released in two days. And we'll be all caught up on that. And then we'll be starting to upload State of Decay. <laughs> yeah, and this one's all laid out for... Snuggle Tug, who I think is given up. I love this castle. It looks so good. I love this castle. It looks so good. Evil Zelda needs to needs to purge the server. <laughs> the server needs to be cleansed. It must be cleansed. We must, we must do what we can to allow it to survive. Yeah, Bowen did a great job with this. This looks just so good. Looks really good. Really like this. I like to poke around a little more, to be honest. <laughs> My goodness, Green, thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate that. We need Z community server. I uh, yeah, we do need to do a community uh, playthrough. It's true. It's on the list. I've got a plan. I have a plan, but we're we're a little bit out before that plan comes. To oh my goodness! Hello and welcome, Raiders. Hello and welcome, Alto Funk. How was your stream today? You, oh, what were you playing today? You were playing. Oh, what were you playing? Were you playing? No, it wasn't Project Zombie. I I saw for a moment, and then I walked away. Oh man, Pro Alta Funk, what were you playing today? I know Alta Funk usually raids and vanishes, so someone's gonna have to let me know. What was he playing? Was it was it Zomboid? Was it Project Zomboid today? I jumped in his stream earlier today, like, I, like right before I streamed. He started 30 minutes before I did. How am I forgetting what he was playing? <laughs> it was Project Zomboid? Okay, good. Jeez. I, I was thinking that it was Longclaw that I was watching who was playing Project Zomboid today. But no, okay, it was Alta Funk. Good, good. Thank goodness I remembered. Jeez. Feeling silly over here. Alright, so I think we're going to need to go ahead and build in the jungle. I think we're doing a jungle build. I think we're going to build our house in the jungle. Let's go over here, grab the last thing for the cooking recipes. And then there was no teleporter over here, so we're going to have to go run there on our own. There was none over here, too. Jeez. Uh, I actually don't know where we can find a teleporter to get home faster. We'll have to figure that out. But welcome, Raiders. How are you all doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. But yes. Yes. We, there are plans, Green, for us to get a server online. It's just not yet. There's some other things I want to work on first. With the stream first. But yes. We do have plans. I do want to get... So I want to get a Conan community server going. Because I want to do... Like, there's some... Like, PvP... Like, hunt the streamer events I think would be kind of fun to play. What we would have to do is I would have to go and set the, the stream to be delayed. Have a delayed stream. Just so that, you know, I don't know exactly where I am at all times. But I think that would be fun. Doing you know, something like that. Oh, a place for RP players to have a map? Yeah, we can do that too. I was thinking of having, like, two servers. One for, like, events and one to, like, have up regularly. Oh, public domination? Pick a public server and flood it with viewers? I don't know, that sounds dangerous. That's the main reason why I don't give out what server we're playing on. <laughs> it's because we would completely dominate the server very quickly. You can only have 40 people on a server. It would, it would not take long for us to overwhelm it. Alright, you're out of here, Cersei. Alright, sleep well, Cersei. Have a good one. Who took this base? Alright, so we're going to head home. Then we're going to head home, we'll set up, and then we're going to go and... We need to figure out where our base is going to be. We need to go determine the final location. Merciless's base, online four and a half hours ago. Two and a half hours ago. Oh my goodness, you actually have a Sand Reaper guarding. Cool. This place has been hollowed out. I don't know what their plans were. Maybe they had more stuff further down, but... This must be their main spot. They're talking about them role players. They've taken a oh yeah, they've got maps, map rooms. They do, but not all of them have them available to get to. There is no free ones over here for us to get to. We didn't even check and see who this is. We'll have to go check them eventually. We also have to go and inspect over here at some point too. We've done a good amount of scouting today, though. We found the important ones. We found a lot of hollowed out spaces. 
I'm happy with what we found. The nearest map room to us is... Oh, no, it is over here. You're right. It is over there. You're right, because we literally did that yesterday. Yeah. yeah, no, of course. Dude, yeah, you're absolutely right. I cannot believe I forgot. They were the ones that gave us some of the teleports. Let's go to the to the French role players. Real quick, if anyone's curious, this is a really good stash point. You stash stuff down there and you fill it up. A good spot right there. Yeah, yeah. No, you're absolutely right, Green. I completely forgot that they had one. <laughs> they they helped us get two of the teleports. That looks so cool. I really like that base. Can we climb back up from here? Or do we have to go up and around? We just don't have a lot of stamina. We've This build does not have a lot of stamina. And this is what we get for not having our potions on us. We're supposed to have potions that give us an extra 41 stamina. Which in which case then we'd have plenty of stamina. Do whatever we need to do. Up we get. Oh my goodness, jeez. Coconut is vengeful right now. Who's Coconut with? The, immor the Immortals are still online. Okay, so they're still active. But maybe they moved over to the Mountains of the Dead after that place got blown up. Maybe that's what they did. Well, that's good to know. Wait, what? Isn't Coconut part? Oh no. Mer sorry, Merciless was the other guys. Building so close to you? Yeah, okay. So Merciless is the building. Sorry, I just it's perfect timing for Coconut to even say that. The place we just saw was Merciless. He's with the Immortals. Which I guess we'll find the Immortals when we finally go over there. Yeah, Swamp Donkeys are literally everywhere. They're a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, okay. So it seems like the Immortals are going to be a person we're going to have to fight. Here's that map room. All right, let's go home. <laughs> Off we go. Damon, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. I don't know why it didn't pop up. I don't know why the pop-up didn't happen. We're having issues with the follower pop-ups not occurring, but thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome. All right, so we're going to head home. We'll set up. Uh, actually, we'll head home, we'll pack up, and then we'll make a little base in the jungle. We're going to need to make some Tier 2 materials. So we're going to need to make some brick, and we're going to need to make some uh, iron reinforcements while we're packing up. That's going to be the big focus. Oh, Nike changed their name. Okay. Interesting, because I do remember seeing a Nike when we first started playing. Oh, jeez. Okay, there's two different mercy. Well, that's not helpful at all. Oh, man. Crazy. Better have you ever heard of Journey to a Savage Planet? No, I have not. What is that? This is a book? A movie? A play? A game? I don't know. Yeah, so let's go. We're going to go ahead. We'll get a dismantling bench online. We'll start making a bunch of iron reinforcements and bricks. We'll go ahead and build ourselves our star metal tools. We'll get upgrades for those going, and we'll dismantle all the garbage that we have, and then we can go ahead and move. There's our goal. Let's get that done. Let's get that done. Where's the best place to get a tier 4 Yogg Priest? Ah, good question. 
That would be the summoning place right here. We haven't gone to it yet, but it's, it's this place right here. South of the sinkhole. Right there. Best place for a tier 4 Yog Priest. Because there's so many Yog Priests over there. It is crazy. So you've got a really good chance of getting a tier 4. Yeah, no problem. If you've got any other questions, let me know. I have a lot of experience with this game. Oh my good gracious, the new combat. It's brutal. Can't, can't spin in time. It's gonna be sad when that thing disappears. I didn't put ironstone in that. Ironstone was never in there. Ironstone was never in there. Hold on a second. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it. We've we've dropped a lot of garbage on the ground. Someone else did someone steal something or do something? Campfire or campfire decayed. Rock Cigaro. Full stuff from our pleasure palace. Hmm. Okay. Well, now we know who. All right, first things first. Let's go ahead and fire these bad boys up. So I forgot. It's the only one of each of those. Okay. Get you rolling. Got stones somewhere in here. There's stones somewhere in here. We got some brick already, but... Brick. Maybe we're fine. Let's let's get to work. We need to go and build up the things, dismantle stuff down, and we'll go ahead and move. We're gonna leave some of the basic stuff here. There's no need for us to go and rip every like all the floorboards out. But uh, we do want to get things set to leave. Oh, it's in general, isn't it? It's insulated wood. Uh oh. Uh, where is the insulated wood? I think it's stashed. I think I have it in our stash right now. I'm gonna have to go and grab our stash. I don't think it's out in the open. Okay, let's reorganize these chests a little. This is a bit much. Let's go ahead and move all these chests over here. So at least they're all in one place and instead of just all over. But yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do some serious work here. It's a 2021 action adventure exploration game with campy aspects, alien creatures, and hilarity. Interesting. Yeah, no, I've not heard of it at all. It's already been out for two years. Huh. All these chests. <laughs> we need we need to go and boil our stuff down. All right, hang on a second. Let me. Let me go ahead and grab our stash, so we will mute the game, and we will make it so you cannot see me. Then let me go ahead and grab the stash. He's sorted. There we go. And then we bring audio back, and we come back to the game. And we now have the stash. Oh, not the stash. Some insulated. We have more insulated. Uh-oh, we not have more insulated? I could have thought we did. Ah, oh, there it is. All right, that wasn't even in the stash. That's funny. Didn't need the stash for it, that's fine. All right, we need general dismantling bench. Perfect. Okay. Chuck him down. Time to dismantle. And take everything out of this chest. We're gonna move this chest here, and this is gonna be a finalized chest. Don't want us to see your stash spot. No, no, it's a hidey. It's a hidey spot. Alright, we're going to loot everything we can, and we're going to move the empty chests over here. Take all. 
until our inventory is full and we can't take anything else. Then, yeah, you know, we're gonna have to move you. You are fortunately in the way. There. You can block the door for me. Now let's go ahead and start dismantling stuff that we do not want to keep. Anything that's of no use, we get rid of. We'll continue to smelt stuff and the like. So the bricks, we want to keep those. We're definitely keeping these. We can go ahead and we can smelt down the silver as well. Yeah, all these tools, we're going to start breaking these tools down. A bunch of aloe in here, we don't need all this aloe. Okay. Go ahead and stone consolidate. Go. We only need one thing of thick leather. We don't need any more. Just one. We'll take all of our thralls. We'll take the crystal. We can leave the bark. We can leave the chitin. That's fine. We'll take all the tar. Actually, the tar will. We'll currently actively have this tar being converted. In the meantime, actually, we've got to cook, don't we? We can speed this up. Tier 3 cook. That speeds this up. Cooks will speed up the fireball cauldron. There we go. So speed that up. We'll keep these. Actually, we don't need any Icor at all. <laughs> because we're going to find so much over there. There's going to be so much over there. It's fine. Well, we'll take some black ice. Uh, let's go ahead and put our stuff over here. Drop off more brimstone in here. It's a, this is a full-blown sandstorm outside right now. Lagging little. Okay. Right. What else do we want to keep? Compost is going to be important for us to hold on to. Uh, we can get more ice when we need it. We should have some ice on hand. We should have some ice, because we're going to want to go and make an ice chest. Uh, we'll keep our potions. A weapon. We already have a thing of fur. We'll keep all of the demon blood. We're not going to leave any of that behind. Same with the gold coins. The ice shard arrows. Cool, but uh, I don't think we're going to keep them. We're going to keep all of our golem parts. Dismal flesh for sure. We'll keep the armor. And more demon blood. Drop this off. Got some more iron, so we can drop off that iron. Uh, what else do we want to take? Where's cut the bench? Drop you off. Resin. Some resin. Do we have more resin hidden somewhere in here? This one's empty. Let me go pick that up. Is there resin anywhere? This one's also empty. Let's go pick this up. <gasps> We're clearing out our inventory. Good gracious. Here we go. This one. And a whole bunch of brimstone. Okay, so we're going to dump this resin in here. That rolling. Drop off all this brimstone and this tar. I don't think it's going to be able to go through all these while we're doing this, but it doesn't hurt to have it get started. Good gracious, the lag is still hurt me. Very laggy. Okay, what else do we have that we can, that we want to save? A cursed manor? What does this look like? No clue what this thing looks like. It's huge. It's kind of cool. Yeah, we'll leave that there. It's cool. Sure. Why not? Alright, what else we got? Um, we've got regular aloe extract, which is stuff that we'll want to... Oh, we don't need to hold on to it. We can leave that here. More ichor. We're going to take the alcohol. This is already full. Uh, we're going to take the alcohol. The black mall mace... Or the black ice mall... We'll Probably stash that with someone else. Take the oil, the spears. We'll take this. That's a good weapon for us to use. The iron truncheon we don't need anymore. These perfected things we don't need anymore. 
We're gonna go full star metal. Hold on to that and hold on to this. Put you here. Currently. The black ice longsword might still be good to hold on to, so we'll hold on to that. Short sword. Hold on to these. The chain for sure. Advanced toolkit. Actually, I'm gonna keep that advanced toolkit. We're gonna use it ourselves. Uh, we'll keep these. Which is drawbridge, why not? The silver. Water. So we're gonna take the shaped wood out. Stack that, because we might need a chest or something in the meantime while we're building stuff here. If only we don't actually need. I still wanna keep it. Wine. Drop off all this aloe. Here's some gold. Food. Silver. We do need the gray lotus seeds, black lotus seeds, purple lotus seeds, crimson, a whole the frost lotus, gold dust, definitely all the sorcery stuff. Leavening agent in these guys. We don't need regular seeds. We need the treasures. Okay. That's everything in this inventory. All right. So go to the dismantling bench. This mall, what are you using? You're currently using a mall. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and dismantle it. So we're gonna start dismantling tools here. Dismantle all of these into useful items. I don't think I can do the javelin or the throwing axe. I can't. It's nice that we can't. Oh, let's go ahead and toss them then. Oh, we can go ahead and dismantle you. All right, perfect. So we'll go ahead and get some. Actually, can we tax? Can we do tax dermy stuff now? Okay. Drop that. Right. Okay. Right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and make another chest. And this chest is we're gonna have just our our leftovers in this chest. We're gonna give all. We're gonna take just the stuff that, whoop, just the stuff that we want to keep on us. Grab this food. Do we have inventory for it. She does. So they want some food. Anything in here? Yeah, it's so cool. We have the fighter. We'll grab that later. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just put all of our other garbage in here. I guess we'll do the same with this one. So we're going to need you. Dump the rest of our garbage in here. Stuff that we're not taking with us. We get plenty of bones. We don't need the bone meal. With aloe. I'll hold on to the bones. Okay. What do we need over here? We need some shaped wood. Like that. Got a bunch in our inventory. What am I talking about? 50. Okay. So we've got this guy. Uh, we don't have any, any thralls for this, right? Smelter. Get him to work. We've got a carpenter. Put him to work. We have a whole bunch of sticks. We can actually do something with them. Blood off. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and let's make a new one. Want to do that? No, let's get the axe first. Oh, we can't do it in this level. We have to go up a level. Make a better tier. That's fine. We can get a better weapon later. Go ahead and we'll get the. We'll upgrade this guy so we can upgrade it at full durability. Or not. It doesn't matter. We can just repair this. What am I talking about? OK, 
repaired. We don't actually need you anymore. It's fine. Nice. Okay. And then... Go ahead and we'll just keep this stuff here. Stuff that I'll grab and take with us. And then let's actually leave these. Okay. Inventory is nice and empty. Torch. Alright. Next one. Take all. Go ahead and pick you up. Just pick you up. Grab everything out of you. In here. Pick you up. Here, pick you up. Alright, we're slowly going through everything. Yeah, okay, how do all those explosive jars? This is gonna be problematic for us, I imagine. Alright, we're doing pretty well. We still haven't run out of inventory yet. A lot of this stuff is gonna start stacking with itself, which is what we care about. Oh, these chests are open. Oops. This open. Not bad. Stone, coal, um, let's well just drop all of our ore in here, I guess. Yeah, that'll give us enough there. We'll just, just continue to burn for the next 10 hours. We'll just go and process all the equipment we can. Got more of you. All right, so twine. Don't actually need it. Moth pouches. We'll hold on to those. More gold coins. More gold coins. Is this full too? It is. All right. Grab, oop, grab those back. Pocket. Drop these off. This is what we get for scavenging a whole bunch of bases. We just have a whole bunch of junk. Uh, let's leave the elixirs in here. We have the other potions with us. need some bricks. You're not making bricks yet. You're not making bricks. You have bricks. What? No, I need space. Right. Um. Evolve. Okay, something got stacked. Nothing got stacked. I don't know. Turn it into bone meal. We can leave that here. We can always do multiple trips. Nothing says we can. Get all these branches and convert all these branches into actual wood. And then that wood will then turn into shaped wood. And more shaped wood and more insulated wood. We might as well just use that while we're here. Wood press, we can go ahead and press these seeds. Something valuable. Not need the bugs. Press the heads. We don't need any of this feral flesh. Press those heads. Go ahead and drop off these. We'll probably just leave them for later. Okay, let's go and do some more dismantling. Alright, armor, armor. What else can we dismantle? Weapons, more armor. Tools. Hold on to the bear pack. Bear pack's a good one. Uh, 
those withered skulls javelin can't be dismantled Great tooth trophy under hiking hand trophy you can go ahead and dismantle those all right that's gonna give us a bunch of materials broken down that's good ball ball So we are seeing this change, so we definitely are dropping some stuff off. The ice we don't need, the hide we can go and get converted. So we'll probably just do a couple of tra uh, trips back and forth to get the stuff that we're not bringing with us. Because we can still process it here. And we can bring that process material back to our new base. And this is still probably going to be our main thrall location as well. Imagine we're going to do most of our thralling from here. In the future, too. It's a really good spot to get them. So we should be able to take everything here. And move this chest here. Dump more stuff in. I want to keep one of those great swords. It's a great sword. Give all these. Save the silk. Uncle base. That'll be good. Six K coins. Did you afraid dwarves? No, no. We uh, we we just found a base that had a whole bunch of them and thought, you know what? Why not? We took them. Come with us. Your plating, we're going to drop these plating types. We're not going to use them at all, so it's just be a waste of space. Um, let's go ahead and get that pot broken down. I don't need the schlepping fluid. I don't use it. Taking up space. And we got a lot of black ice out of doing that. I'm feeling pretty good with our conversions currently. We're doing a really good job here. We'll probably do another sweep through just to make sure I'm not taking stuff we don't need. But so far, so good. So far, so good. We're definitely going to take the explosives. I don't see why we would not take the explosive jars. One thing of feathers. The rest of the feathers, we literally do not need the rest of the feathers. I should drop those all. We're hunting soup. We don't need that. Let's drop all this meat. Yeah, we could keep it here and compost it while we're, while we're here. We could go ahead and just compost it. Farming, compost. Compost all this extra meat that's lying around. Get some value out of it. Because there's also that... Bone meal. I don't think we tossed it. I think it's in one of these chests. It'd be used for the bone meal if we do that. Yeah, there it is. Some value out of that. We'll always come back and just pick it up later. Make a whole bunch of compost. Perfect. Nice. Uh, 7k, did you make a, the alcohol donation to the tavern? Not yet. We're going to save all the alcohol, and then we're going to go ahead and we'll make that donation to the tavern. We definitely need it. And this is slowly converting this stuff over into more bone meal. Might as well. Perfect. Feathers can't do anything with that. Alright, the pure alloy extract we should probably take with us. That's a, that's a good one to have. Orphan glams are going to be good. Volatile glams we definitely want. We want the withered skulls. We don't care about the sorcerer skulls. It's useful. It's ice. We drop this leather. Interesting. We actually had more. That in there. I didn't realize. Some more lying around somewhere. Drop off this black ice. The shaleback shelling. 
I think we want to keep that. Take Bloom, we'll take the lures. Uh, desert wine. We'll go ahead and take a look at all the alcohol. If we're taking if we have too much alcohol in here, we just leave it here for us to grab later. So yeah, let's, let's get a chest specifically for the alcohol. We don't have to come from our main base to do the donation. Take everything out of here and we'll just have this be the alcohol chest. We'll take this chest to him. We'll donate all this alcohol. Their tavern. At some point we can make our own alcohol too. We can have that be a booze chest. Alright, perfect. With that, we've now gone through all of them. So everything that is in our inventory and in chests have been organized. Man, it's been a process. Pork ramen noodles? Oh, that sounds really good. I'd eat that. So everything so far has now been actually processed. I'm here. I'll take everything. Wait, did we get unblemished flesh? Crazy. Hold on to the Pictish warrior armor. Hold on to that. Uh, terrain armor, we're going to go break that down. Hammers, we'll break that down. Feathers, we'll get rid of. We'll make proper armor for our followers later. Right now, I just want to reduce the amount of everything we're carrying <laughs> we can. Anything that isn't being used right now is gone. Armor kits, I don't need those. Those are a waste of space. And unblemished meats. Deeper in. Got plenty of these bracelets. We can go ahead and let one of those go. It's got so much to go and break down still. Uh, ice shard arrows. Drop these. No real use for that. The pork we're definitely going to hold on to, but we're not going to take it with us. We can bring it in. If we have the space, we can take it. Otherwise, we're going to leave it here. Do that resin. Some more branches. Need to convert. Good. More bark to run you. More tar to keep this rolling. There we go. Right. We are almost there. We can drop off all this aloe. I might honestly start dropping some of the aloe on the ground. We are going to drop the rough wraps on the ground, though. As much as I'd like to be using items instead of just getting rid of them, it's not, we don't really have a good reason to pull into rough wraps. Meat. Meat. Junk we definitely need. It's off in here. My guy's pick that down. I can give a steel if we break it down. That down. Uh, the silk here, we can leave the silk behind. Or we got some better silk. Go ahead and be you here. Feathers can go. Definitely go and give all. See if we can get any more things that are stacked. Looks like you can. Stackable stuff. Oh, okay, hold on. This is quite just stackable stuff. It's garbage got in here. So, yes, you. Yes, you. Not you. We're gonna break that down. Okay. Gems. Not indigo. Not basic materials. Melt those if we can. Do we have gold ore with us, or have we dropped all that? Don't need the aloe leaves in here. Gold dust. Gold bars. No gold ore. Okay. 
Bushfire powder. We will take the berry. Ooh, that's gonna be good. We don't need you on hand. Numbing wraps we can carry with us. Uh, bones. We'll just go ahead and brain those bones up. A salt we can let go. It's literally it's literally just rocks in a grinder. We do not need it. It's fine. We can let that go. He's in here. Ardent steel. Oh yeah, we get steel. Keeping that. Weapon repair kits. Weapon repair kits are really bad in this game. Uh, since the most recent updates, never, ever, never use weapon repair kits. Don't use repair kits at all. They're totally worthless. They reduce the maximum durability of the armor or weapons you use them on. Literally don't use them. They're, it's literally a worthless item. It's worth way less than it used to be. Don't use them. We're going to toss those. Go ahead and eat that. Go ahead and drop off this and this. To the press. Press out meat. Press out seeds. That's your freedom. Bonus health and bonus stamina. Nice. Looking good. Back this chest. There are layered materials in here. This black ice, we're just gonna leave this black ice in here. We just smelt out the silver. I mean, a space if we do this. Or, apparently, we don't have gold ore anywhere else. We can drop the flat, and we can drop these bullets. Drop the dyes. The dyes aren't that important, these are basic dyes. You can get them pure orange we'll get later. Spices we can make. Island berries. Let me drop those. You never use anything except simple or iron tools. Oh, you never use them on them other than those? I guess that makes sense. Do they always reduce durability? Yeah, they always reduce durability. They o they always reduce durability. Those, those repair kits are just literally never worth using. It's unfortunate, because it used to be good. You'd carry one with you to be able to repair your pick or something while you're doing uh, doing a run, but it's, it's literally not worth doing. Don't do it. Okay. That's good. Sure, we'll take the color seeds with this. Why not? Steel, ash... Weapon handles aren't even worth taking anymore because we can make them ourselves now. Take the queen bees. Now I don't have any space. Alright, perfect. Give all. We'll quick give all test. Give all. Give all. Alright, nothing new to give. Perfect. Soon. Are we gonna sneeze? Yep, I sneezed. <laughs> yep. There it is. Drop you off. We'll even drop the unblemished human meat in here. We're not going to use it. We'll get that decayed. Uh, we don't need you. Regular bees are unnecessary. Uh, dried berries. We can get rid of dried berries. Useful. That guy stank. Slowly unloading everything. We're getting so close. It's looking good. If there's a, I mean, hey, we, we're gonna be making a. There's a lot of steel fire to be made out of this, so this is good. I'm glad we put the cook on here. Make it go way faster. But yeah, we're slowly but surely churning through all of this garbage that we have here. Husks, we can go grind them down as well. The hides, we can go ahead and convert. Put a leather in here to stack them. Uh, those orbs are valuable, but I don't really care too much about them, so we can we can stash them here for later. Branches, or branches. Uh, more wood. These. Take. 
All right, what we're going to do now... Is there going to be another chest here? And this one's going to be for our basic inventory, our normal inventory items. So we'll keep these on hand so we can make more stuff. But otherwise, our stuff's done. We're down to just three boxes. We've managed to whittle everything down into just three boxes. This is what we're taking with us. A hodgepodge of garbage, but useful garbage nonetheless. If we lose everything else that's going to be left at this base, except this, of course, uh, it would be perfectly acceptable. Once we're done, of course, I'm showing I'm actually taking everything that we want to take. Should we finish this off here? Hold on a second. here to make sure this keeps going for 17 hours. Oh, hit play. It wasn't even playing? Oh my goodness. Hit play on that. There we go. Lost on the ground. It makes so much now. It's ridiculous. It's fine. Let's go ahead and give all... Oh, one of these has half crystal in it. Really? Oh, we already have a full stack of crystal. Okay, we can leave the rest of the crystal. That's fine. We do want to bring the frost lotus seeds, though. Leave the gold ore behind. It's one gold ore. We can't do anything with one. Leave that behind. Alright. He's off. Oh, the cook speeds of alchemy? Only the cauldron. Only the fireball cauldron. Nothing else. Just the fireball cauldron. So I do want to take the extra brick. Go ahead and we'll stuff it in here. So we've made this, but we're not making anything else star metal right now. We need a better blacksmith bench. Um, we can upgrade this bench. Let's upgrade the bench. Smithing. It takes what? Who was it? A hundred and hundred and hundred. Do that real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and pick this up and let's see if we can move you in here. I think it's too tall. There, we can get you in here. This mantling bench will fit. Grinder, we can get under the stairs. Blacksmith bench, we can just put. Centerish. Come on, come on, controls. It's like right, right here-ish. Go. Perfect. There we go. Now we can make the things we want to make. Let's see here. So we can make our axe. Maybe. There it is. Weapon handle. Oh, I threw those weapon handles away, didn't I? That's funny. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to make a weapon handle. Looks leather. Clear the cube. Get some regular leather. You're the one with the stone. Stone, there you go. Regular leather. A weapon handle. Any wood. Not bad, you should really bring another one of the name cooks then. Yes. You keep running across them in Sinner's Cave. Yeah. No, they're really good. It's uh it would be a good thing to go ahead and grab. Those cooks, they speed up the speed up time that you get from them is just really worth it. Alright. So we're going from a 40 damage, zero armor pen, shield slam, variable weapon. The ancient Lemurian axe, which is my go-to. One to get the the dungeon that we went to at that um, 
required us to click on the, the boat. It's my go-to. We'll probably go ahead and make a Blood Crystal Maul or Greatsword next for our secondary weapon, as opposed to the Black Ice Maul. Although that Frostbite, uh, that Cold Snap damage does, is good. It is good to have that, because that does mess with players. This is good. Yeah, we're getting a whole bunch of processing done right now, which is important. Essentially, if we can just process all these materials down to their basic raw resources, we can then do a run to build a small little base. Grab everything from there. But yeah, this does an extra 8 damage. It's not variable. This one is. It's 8 extra damage, 13 armor pen, it's a penetrative weapon. Much better. Much better weapon. Break that down. Now we put the bricks in here. Perfect. Pick those. This one has the steel in it. Perfect. And then we'll go and put this for a wood. All right, so that's, that, that's kind of it we can do right now as we're waiting on this stuff just to process. Just to process everything that we've given it so far. So fluid pressing things. We're still cauldroning. We're still we're doing a little bit of everything right now. Okay. Grinding still. Perfect. All right. Oh, wrong button. M, not N. All right. So I'm thinking, what do we want to build specifically? What do we specifically want to build? So I'm tempted to build on the south side here. Maybe down in this kind of zone. But the thing is, Jen is over here. But Jen is built there and all up here. So I don't know where Jen spends most of their time. I don't have to worry about it. We could just build over here like we were talking about before. Build that spot. We'll be stuck between uh, Jealous Jen and Pika. The other option is because this guy, good old Beastmaster, is... Doesn't seem like he's coming back, and he's currently just claimed all of this land here. What we could do is maybe build within this. We've thought about building here before. That's a nice little spot. It's a compact spot, so you could use this as like a, uh, a way station. Build there first, and then maybe try and build on one of the islands here. You might be able to build on like this island or this island, because it, it cuts right through here. We could have like this portion of the island or this portion of the island if islands are free. Maybe over here. Otherwise, what we can do... And that would just be for, like, a an emergency spot, not our place for the purge. Kind of like our... Oh, no, everything fell apart. The other thing we can then do is jump up here, and I think building up here... Or maybe over here. We could even go up here, actually. Depending. Because we haven't, we haven't scouted this zone. We went all the way through here, up and around, and then we jumped down here. Went up. So this whole zone here has not been scouted. These two squares. So we do need to scout these squares, because there could be some good there could be a good place to build here. I don't really want to build on this guy. But I might want to build here. Or over here. There was pirates that had built here. I'm trying to remember where that island is. There's like a raised platform island somewhere. Might be up here. Might not have gone far enough up. I think we're going to need to do a little more scouting before we make a final decision. The good thing is that we have that map room that's right here that can teleport us over here to Dagon's Eye. So from Dagon's Eye, we can easily go and check these spots. Dagon's Eye is going to be our main teleporter spot anyway. We can also check up in the mountains, see if there's a spot up here that we like. But I just don't know if we're going to be able to get the purge up there. We'll have to see. We'll have to take a look at the, the terrain, take a look at the land. But I think down here would be a guaranteed bet that we can get the purge to work. I'm going to have to sleep on that decision. i have to sleep on the decision for sure. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to take everything out of these. Which now properly stack everything. And we'll go ahead and give all again. Just in case there are some stacking issues between them. Guess not. Okay, so we already have those guys in here. Alright, so it looks like they were properly stacked. I was concerned that there would still be some slots open because we didn't have proper proper full stacks of anything, but no, looks like we're good to go. Perfect. We need to go and take this and these. This will burn for another 10 hours, so they'll be able to get that done. Burn for another 2 hours and change, it's fine. We don't have much else to burn in there. Rest this brimstone here. Dump it in here. It's the tar that we're out of. That's okay. We're making tar. We're not going to have that much more tar, though. We'll leave anything else that's left over in here. No worries. Perfect. And we're gonna need to make some extra room, but that's okay. We can we can loot all of these. We've got enough space for everything. Back in the center of the room, now that we don't need you out of the way. Alright, perfect. So I think that is that for today. Then we're gonna end it here. And what I'll do is I'll do the same thing as before. Uh, right before raid time, I'll go ahead and stash the important stuff, which will be that chest, uh, these four chests, and the goodies that are produced out of this stuff. So I'll get that all hidden away before raid time tomorrow. And then when we come back and play more tomorrow, because we're going to play more tomorrow. I want to play more tomorrow. I don't want to wait until the weekend for us to play more. We're right at the cusp of setting up our big base. What we'll do tomorrow is we'll run back on over to the jungle... We'll do some quick scouting, and then we'll set up our base. So we'll have enough... Oh, I think we need to go make some more iron reinforcements before we... Make sure more iron reinforcements are set before we go. Silver. Because yeah, we're going to need a lot more of these to actually build out. There we go. Perfect. But yeah, so we'll go ahead and we'll build up our, our base, and then we'll go and move all of the important stuff, and we'll leave all the basics, basic things here. We won't leave any of the thralls, because we don't have enough spare thralls, but we'll leave enough stuff that we can go ahead and rebuild from scratch from here if we end up having our main base raided. And this will be good because we'll be using this for grabbing more thralls in the future. Because eventually we're going to want to get a teleporter between here and wherever our base is. Do something like that. But thanks for stopping by and saying hi, everyone. I really appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. I will see you all tomorrow for even more Kona Next House. Because I am loving this game, and I want to get us to actually doing the purge part. So I'm hoping we can go ahead and build the base and do a tier 1 purge tomorrow. I want to do a tier 1 purge tomorrow. We have so many coins, we could probably do like a tier 5 or 10 or whatever maximum purge number is. Because we have so many coins. But I want to do a tier 1 purge at least tomorrow. So we want to go and try and get to the point where we can get a tavern. So we're going to want to build a castle. We'll probably need to build a castle. A production building, and a tavern. Those will probably be the three different buildings we'll need to make. Maybe we can make it into complex, or maybe we make it a big building. Not sure yet. But I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good morning, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.